encompassing the westernmost. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious. Uh, are you actually going to try to track all the lore? Maybe I should. No, abso written. absolutely not. By gods I'm going to be asking you lore questions. Okay, that makes the sense. I, I will try my best, but I actually, chat is usually the best chronicle of all that stuff. That makes there sense. There's so much lore in this goddamn game. It's absurd. And it all, like, calls back to itself. It's all really internally consistent, but over the span of, like, eight years. It's ridiculous. So, and just to be perfectly clear about people that are watching this, I don't follow lore on any MMO. So it's not just Final Fantasy. It's every MMO I played. I didn't follow in World of Warcraft or New World or Star Wars Galaxies or any of that, so don't worry about it. Yeah, Bruce isn't really a lore hound. Not a lore hound. And I, I'm also making that clear for YouTube, because generally YouTube gets very angry at me because I talk over things, <laughs> but I don't care. You have to talk, though, right? I, mean, I always yeah. get torn up about that. People are, like, asking me important questions that I want to answer, but I'm in the middle of, like, a 20-minute epic cutscene with a lot of dialogue and crying and stuff. What do you do? I, I honestly, I, up front, I say, I'm going to be talking over those things. So if you don't like it, it's okay. You can watch something else. Right. That's okay, though. Like, the story is not really that interesting until Stormblood anyway. So, by the time you hit hour 800, I think you'll be watching some cuts. <laughs> <laughs> but luckily, yeah, you can just you can just fly past all the dialogue and stuff and go right to the beating of magical monsters. I think it's funny because people are always like, Why are you talking over cutscenes? I can't believe this! And then I'm sure they're at home watching television using their phone. I'm sure of it. Man's got a point. Man's got a big point. I'm sure of it. Because everybody the, uh, it. the intro videos are pretty rad. So what you're seeing now, Bruce... Uh, please tell me, please tell the, me. These are the events that ended the uh, the 1.0 arc of the game. So uh, the game came out. It didn't do so hot. And so they started a project to Five reboot it, basically. Um, and that was and Realm Reborn, or 2.0, which is what you're starting now. Uh, but they kind of worked the events of the 1.0 portion of the game into the storyline. And it. they also basically Man, destroyed the world and literally started it over to, to basically start the game over. But some of those events are still on like the canon of the storyline, which probably won't be important to you <laughs> ever. Uh, but that's essentially the video you were just watching. There was a giant dragon, a very uh, noble, mage man sacrificed himself to teleport the warrior of light which is you bruce you. i'm a warrior wait a minute are you aren't you a warrior of light as well i also am a warrior of light uh and believe it or not um that actual thing that aspect is also wrapped into the lore itself at the end okay. of the most recent expansion so it's pretty cool um there are multiple warriors of light in a way that eventually makes sense but you are the single as far as you know <laughs> Light. So that's exciting. I must feel awfully special. I mean, I. Um, but you, you it probably feels won't as, be right away, though. It feels as special as about as uh, being the dragonborn in Skyrim. May he ever so walk. extremely special. So I know that you most... had a dragonborn themed birthday party. What I did? Yeah. I told <laughs> By the way, Lawrence uh, cheated uh, and already gave me a little bit of this lore on Saturday and told me about how. Uh, Realm Reborn had to reboot the whole deal because Final Fantasy XIV was sucked before. So Yeah, it wasn't great. I mean, so he was like uh, Yoshi P, who is basically the messiah of this video game. Um, he he was updating 1.0 as it was going while also developing 2.0. So he's basically making two games at once. And apparently, by the end of it, 1.0 wasn't all that awful. But I wasn't there for it. I gave yeah. up on that game. Um, all right, Lawrence, I'm, I'm character selection or character creation, pardon me, and uh, do these different races have different traits or does it matter? Uh, I don't think it matters. I think it just matters where you can, like, what city you start in. So there's but... cat, there's cat girl. Where I don't see a bunny, I don't see a bunny woman anywhere. I was told there'd be a bunny woman. Oh, yeah. Okay, so you probably have to own the expansions to be bunny woman. That's all right. I'll be a cat girl. No problem. You can start as a uh, cat girl. You can, wait, can you be cat girl? Oh yeah, there they are. Oh okay. my goodness gracious! If I just you took, buy the I, expansions I, later, you can change how you look. I just took off her clothes. Stuff. I didn't. I did not mean to do that. I did not mean to do that. Be careful, Bruce. This is this is not a horny game. This is a classy game. What? You have to yeah, try, right. Yeah, you you got to try pretty hard to be horny in this game. I mean, people do it. Don't get me wrong. Horniness uh, overcomes all. But does it matter if I pick Seekers of the Sun or Keepers of the Moon? I. I don't know. I don't remember. I don't even know if that means right. anything. I'm going to be Keepers of the Moon then. Done. What the hell does that mean? What uh, am I? Oh, I'm the seventh son of the second astral moon. Okay. So, I don't know what that means. 
I'm just doing randomized because that's the way I like to do character creation. A lot of people want, like to spend hours character creating and I don't. I like to just do random. I think it's fun. Oh, yeah. Got her! Um, that's okay. The most important part is yet to come. What do you mean? There's there's a, a part of being a character even more important than how you look. And that's your name. Select your character's patron deity. Does this matter at all? No. I th I think that's supposed to be like... I don't know what that does. I, I, uh. So, I told Chad I'm probably going to be a healer. Uh, by the way, this music is banging, Lawrence. You're absolutely correct. Oh, man. You don't even know half of it. Oh, uh. boy. Ooh, what a journey this is going to be. Oh, yeah. I got to figure out how to be a gladiator. I want to be a uh. tiny little gladiator boy. All right. So, here, select your starting class and city-state. So... Disciples of Magic, I assume since I'm a healer, I'm going to be a Thaumaturge, Arcanist, or Conjurer? Is that correct? Yeah. Yes, that is correct. Wait. Thaumaturge. Oh, no, wait. Those are DPS. You're looking for Astrologian Scholar and the thing that White Mage was before it was called White Mage. I only uh, have I only have two selections right now. It's Disciples of War and Disciples of Magic. So You want Magic. So it's Arcanist? Or a conjurer? What do you think? I think conjurer. Well, it depends what kind of healer you want to be. Is the oh. unfortunate. Okay, so what do you got? Tell okay, me. Conjurer's healer. Got it. Uh, so conjurer eventually can become white mage, which is like it's kind of a more traditional healer. Um, okay. You have like you have instant heals, you have cast timers, you have regens. Let's do it's that. It's all pretty straightforward. Yeah. Um, the other ones are a little more have a little more flourish. And then. It says you have selected Famfrit as your starting world. Proceed. So I should be selecting Leviathan? Yeah. Oh, that'll make it easy. Okay, I've selected Leviathan, I believe. Uh, let's confirm. Okay, and here's my name. Uh, every name is taken now in this video game. You'd be surprised what you can do with the first and a last name. That's true. Reggie Pringles. That's good, Lynn. That's really good. That is really good. That's really good, Reggie. Reggie Pringles. Although, remember, this is... I I'm, I'm, want her to be decidedly feminine. D Dusty Fork. That's gross. Not very feminine. Uh, <laughs> Regina Pringles. This is... I'm going to regret this name for as long as I play this game. There we go. You're going for it? Okay. Re Re Regina Pringles. Uh, Samuel, I missed that resub, Samuel. Thank you very much, Samuel. Are you ready, Bruce? Are you ready to start? Are you ready to, to enter the biggest anime? I'm uh, in a queue, but yes, I oh. am. Well, that goes by pretty quick. Yeah, it says players in queue 38, so like I feel like it's... That, it yeah. does that nearly every time. Oh, does it? Okay. All right. Yeah. There's always a tiny little queue, a little baby queue. Uh, I've also started a squad stream for people who want to watch both Lawrence and I. Yeah, I am trying to unlock uh, <laughs> a tanking class so that I can level along with Bruce. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, I believe I'm into the video game now. Uh, Ratfur, thank you Ratfur for the resub very much. I would prefer you not add me as a friend quite yet. Let me give me give me a second yeah. to, to go to lepers get, breathe. We're gonna yeah. teach him about triple triad later. What's that? Card game. It's gonna take your life. <laughs> you a mahjong guy? You like to gamble? You wanna you wanna throw sure. down some money on the horses? Why not? Yeah. I saw Lynn. Party in the gold sauce. Probably, probably starts as gladiator. Yeah, I'm just trying to find the NPC that gives that one out. Yeah. Feel. So many ridiculous mini games in this thing. Yeah. This, this woman's skirt is so short. <laughs> She's an adventurer. She needs to. She needs the full power of her stride. S so short. McNair. Wait, Good to see you, McNair. It's been a while. Are you watching all this? This is you. Um. Uh, oh, actually. Oh no! It's Zanor. That might be. That might be a god. Yeah, probably. It's the uh, spot. What is it? District 13, level 13 or whatever. 
Yeah, there's so they're called Asians in this game, but they look nearly identical. And they say it's Xehanort. Yeah, I know. It I know. Xehanort. It's it's fucking Kingdom Hearts. Come on. <laughs> Everybody knows that. Organization 13. Thank you. Bruce knows. I don't know anyone that knows Kingdom Hearts as good as Bruce does. There you go. Now we're talking. Uh, happy Otter, thank you, I Happy Otter, for the reset. Good King to see Otter. If it weren't for Bruce, <laughs> that's for sure. Oh my gosh, I got a cool staff. I'm already fighting evil, even though I don't know why. Get used to that. Yeah. All right, good news. I got a, I got a sword, so I'm gonna put on that sword. That means you're a tank now, right? Uh, almost. Oh, it's Sky. Starts out Sky like Skyrim. <laughs> You start in a wagon and you wake up. I love it. I love it. You're finally awake. I love it. Skyrim is a good game. Skyrim starts with you in the back of a wagon. Here we go. That's right. Video game development is easy. It's just math. It's just stupid, easy math. <laughs> stupid. Oh, what are those floating little bunnies? Or cats? They're moogles. I'm sorry, moogles. What are moogles? Yeah. They're one of the few uh, Final Fantasy mainstays. So, as a brand, Final Fantasy is very weird. It doesn't really have that much in common with itself, aside from just right. cameos and references. And these these little fuzzy boys are one of them. These uh, these guys show up in a lot of Final Fantasy branded things because they're cute, and you That's can sell right. toys of them, I guess. That's really nice. And you're in the world of Final Fantasy now, Bruce. And they're right next to you. They're talking right at you. Look at that first person camera. Aren't you immersed? Crazy. Was that was that surprising or was that not supposed to I happen? Mean, it's just you're entering the world of Aorzia. It's like they're talking right to you. Isn't that crazy? Well, they're just kind it's of like you're there. floating around, and then I just see text on the screen, so that nobody's really talking to me, Lawrence. Well, yeah, you gotta like say it out loud to yourself. You gotta mumble it, um, <laughs> like, like you're a Moogle, but under your breath. Otherwise, they'll throw you out of the public library again. <laughs> Is my mouse pointer gonna gonna be there the whole time? I don't know. I, uh, there's Dude, nothing. I, you can slap it down. You can move it. <laughs> I mean, I did, yes. Here, I'm gonna do this like this. Guys, is anyone really immersed in this? I mean, there's not even voice acting, which is okay, by the way. I don't care. It's a video game. I know how to so play a video about, game. Uh, it's less about the actual story and more about your reverence for it. Bruce. I mean, I don't have any reverence for the story. I, I said that with Mass Effect too. I don't have any reverence for that story. It's a ridiculous story. Uh, to gain power, win glory, to a massive fortune. I don't want to do any of those things. You can always give him the anime triple dot. Yep, done. Good to see you, Blues. I haven't seen you in a while, Blues. Thanks for coming back. And like I said, I'm going to be skipping the lore most assuredly. For most of this, and, and let Lawrence paraphrase for me. That's actually one of the reasons Lawrence is here. When did Final Fantasy XIV come out, Lawrence? Sorry, my oh. mic was muted. Um, the original came out in like 2010. Oh wow! Like 1.0 came out in 2010. Then one, then 2.0 hit in like 2013. Okay. Uh, that's that's when it was that's when it was beautiful. That's when it was pleasant. Um, oh, I should I should give you a word of warning. So the way that the way oh. that this game handles story content is kind of bizarre because it is explicitly meant to be single player. Uh, the story content is. Oh, I so, gotcha. Yeah. There are plenty of dungeons and stuff we can queue to do together, and if your story content or your quest involves killing ten boar or picking five leaves, you know we can do all that together. But you might have to like do cutscene stuff by yourself. Then again, you could just skip it. And I'm, prob I'm probably gonna, to just... yeah, I'm probably gonna skip it. That's fine. We might just have to jump into and out of parties a bit. And uh, I... again, if uh, this is my first trip to Gradania, yes. It, again, for anybody watching, if I'm skipping the lore, it's also because I'm trying to keep up with my friend Lawrence. So I, these games are meant to be played with friends. For me, they are. Um, and uh, that's why I'm skipping it. So. All right, I'm in my Indies. Straddle! Thank you, Straddle. Good to see you. 
Uh, I'm almost there. I'm still riding the wagon. He's explaining to me lots of things. The black cloud, um, what, it, what might the end up happening? Forest, so, close to the this is going to be interesting. We'll have to find a rhythm here because there's a thing called New Game Plus where I can replace story missions. So I can do like story trees, stuff the same time you are. Oh, okay. But if you're skipping all the cutscenes, this is going to be interesting. We'll figure it out. Well, if we can, I mean, if, hell, if we can sync up the cutscenes, then I'll watch the cutscenes with you. Absolutely. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's, but let's but see, I won't see how that works. Otherwise, I'd be I'd be blasting right past him to make sure I can keep questing with you. The world the so the other the interesting thing about that is, um, eternal oops, thing. Oh, uh, sorry. Could not uh, since I've already the done the story quests, I'm not going to get experience for doing them again. Era. But you will. So you'll actually be out leveling me. Um, well, that's weird. Which shouldn't be too the much of an issue. Huh. Um, yeah, again, we'll have to see how this works. Uh, I've never tried this before, so this is, okay. this is an experiment for me. Uh, Fiori! Thank you, Fiori. The it's part good, where good it to see you back. And like Rachel a full as well. Experience is when you finally for a start getting more dungeons and the boss fights and stuff like that. And right. there's a fair amount of like single player of World of Warcraft questing now. until then. Um, That is one thing that I've noticed. World of Warcraft did really well that a lot of the other MMOs that did not. It's like, if you start the game uh, with somebody else who's just starting it, it feels like you're questing together from the very beginning. And I like that. Yeah, they, they always were so. really good at that. And they were really good about sharing quests and sharing progress towards quests and stuff like that. Um, Old Republic was I played also this pretty... game alone, so I actually don't know how well it works in a group setting as you're going through the story. Yeah. May we'll the matron out. take her to her bosom. That she may never want. All right, I'm gonna have to readjust my uh, in her heart, so serenity, purity. My oh, my sanctity. stream overlay to make sure that it's not uh, covering some stuff for the game. Well, you can yeah. also move the game's UI all over the place. Oh, that's true. I'll ah, just stick with what they give me. Thank you. That's I like my basic skirt too. To You'll have like, you know, you'll have your ooh title card. You'll have your like uh, two or three, two or three buttons, and that's pretty much it. The game looks great. I'm glad you think so. Yeah. I mean, this this part is even older stuff. Like this was made no, a looks, long time ago. Looks good. It looks cool. All right, good news. I got my little coat on. I got a little sword. I'm looking pretty pretty great right now. I'm looking fancy. So you're oh. in, let's see here, I'm trying get, to teleport yelled, over to you. I'm getting yelled at by other people, hold on. Wait, in the game or in real life? No, no, in the game. <laughs> oh, okay. There's just somebody outside your window screaming at you that you're <laughs> not playing Final Fantasy XIV right. I, I, yeah, right? I'm getting backseated from in, in real <laughs> life from outside. Change your hot bar! I was like, what? Already? Shit. In the wrong corner! Uh... Turn character, new camera. Open the Final Fantasy XIV Lodestone Play Guide in your default web browser. No, absolutely not. Oh, is this all like new player stuff? Uh, yes, I, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. Interesting. All right, I'm gonna let me teleport over to you. Let me see if I can find you. No worries. I'm gonna put my little. Uh, that came over here. All right, I'm at uh, Bertenant. Hmm. I think, okay, I know where you are, yeah. Let's see. I think I know where you are. Wait, do we have to, I don't know if we have to get on the same instance or something like that. Oh, we might. Nameplates on. Yeah. I'm I'm just grabbing the quest from Bertenant. Oh, it looks like people are saying I have to finish the uh, tutorial first. So. Oh, before it'll dump you into the game world. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, if you don't see like, if you don't see weird frog people running around and like, cat girls in their underwears, you're not in the you're not in the game game yet. <laughs> Man, somebody is shredding on a harp over here though. see here it's 
what do you think about the story so far? I barely read it. Oh. I haven't read it at all. So if you want to explain it to me, you're you're more than welcome. Okay. Well, you were on a cart, and now you're in a magical fantasy land, and you don't remember anything. Pretty, pretty atypical for an RPG, I know. Uh, <laughs> so well, I was, are all my memories going to come back as I play the game? So, uh, so hmm. Hmm. Uh, like what your memories are or essentially the character you were in Final Fantasy 14 1.0. So, oh. Yeah, yes, uh but also they can't tell you what those were because that was you playing the game. Uh even though I didn't play that. And there's that harp again. Is uh is Ross done eating all the eggs? Yeah, actually. That concluded last night, I think. You finished all the eggs. <laughs> yeah. And truly a hero. I know, right? Really a, a king, a renaissance man. I think she's just kind of showing me around the town, showing me where everybody is, so. Oh yeah, she's gonna show you to your room so you can call your retainer. Did you know, you get a free butler in this game. That's exciting. Wow, I'm rich. Mm -hmm. Told you, it's classy. This is a tea sipping game. Legs crossed, hands perched delicately upon the knee. Yeah, two free butlers. I didn't want to. <laughs> I didn't want to blow it. The fun surprise. Two, <laughs> two butlers, Bruce. I just got yelled at by some warriors. Well, they're a rowdy bunch. Uh, no casket. I played. I paid twenty bucks for this on Steam. Yeah, even though I know you don't have to. I gotta admit, I'm surprised you're not. You're not skipping all this already. I mean, I, I was. <laughs> I go. won't judge you. I was. I was trying to skip. Should I skip faster? I'll skip faster. Or oh, are you not allowed to? Um. Oh, there's that. I'm not that. telling you to. I'm just saying. I'm just surprised. That's all. Okay. Regina Pringles is off on her adventure. Where? Let's see here. What's the home? Got it. Oh my gosh, this music is so great. Oh wait, I couldn't. I can't leave. Oh, they're not letting me leave. Okay, so, um, proceed to the Carlene Canopy at once. Okay. Who else? Do I just need to talk to everybody in here, or do I need to talk to Mother Mune again? Usually, there's a. Uh... Oh, the, um, yeah, the big flamey exclamation point symbol. That's your northern star. That'll, that'll yank you through the story. I just didn't expect them to plop two quests on me in a row from the same person, but they, they are, and that's okay. Oh, yeah, big time. That's, a, that's okay. Oh, now I'm skipping as fast as I can, Lawrence. Oh, again, I, I just, uh, I figured you'd probably want to get to the, the killing and leveling part as fast oh. as possible. But you do you. You wanna, thank you, if you wanna thank you, drink pants in for the resub? These, these peaceful moments, perhaps you should. No, I, I want to play with my friends. That's that's the uh, oh, okay. that's the way I play these games. If you hit escape, you can skip most cutscenes entirely. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, usually it pops up with a little guy saying, hey, you want to skip this? You, you'll have to do it like, you'll have to do it a few times in a row sometimes, but. What will I do? New adventurer, novice network. How do I get out of this? Okay. Um, so I've got three quests. And you're stacking it up. Are you you have three objectives, it looks like. I'm trying to figure out where where do I see those objectives? Um if you hit M, it brings up a little map. Because before I couldn't leave the town, so maybe I can leave the town now? Maybe. You can click oh, yeah. and drag and yeah. make it bigger if you need to as well. Okay. But that should make the... There's a lot of stuff on there, but the little exclamation points 
So the, the ones that aren't all flamed out, those are like side quests. Um, those are just there for experience and maybe Got an it. item or two. Okay. There will also be ones that have a little plus sign on them. Um, and oh, those I think indicate I'm in the game. that quest. Yeah? I think, are you I think I'm here with you. Because, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm definitely in. Oh, okay. 100%. All right. I'll head over there. Uh, Virginia Pringles is standing at the entrance to the Gardenia Etherite Plaza. Oh, I'm sorry. No. That's the big the floating crystal. The exit. Let's yeah, see you can... see that flaming uh, triangle next to the blue crystal? Yes. Yeah, I think you got it. You got it. I think I'm also behind because I'm watching the stream. I'm just waiting for you. Yeah, no, you are. You're a few seconds behind. Mexiho! Thank you, Mexiho, very much for the resub. Uh, I'm just waiting for you to show up and then we'll... I want to see what your character looks like. All right. I'm excited. I, I have a really cool looking coat on and I don't know why. Ooh. It's kind of, it's kind of, it's a, I'm going to, it's a little bit disappointing because uh, I shouldn't have any like warrior gear, but for some reason I do. So. All right. All right. All right. I'm at the Chris. Oh, wait, let's see here. Let's see if I can find you. I'm just going to start clicking on random players. Oh, there you are. Wait, what? There you are. Who are you? I'm on the bridge. I'm waving. It's really dark and I'm super tiny. Wait, which bridge? <laughs> Where are you? Where's right the little in front guy? Of you. What the hell are you? I'm a tiny little guy. Wait, wait. No, yeah. are you not? Are you an armadillo bowler? Wait, hold on. What are wait, you? What? Oh, there you are. <laughs> ah! Hit my mic. Are you Clouderoth Cephalad? Yeah, I am. <laughs> I got a little. I got a little. I got a little uh, soul patch. I sent you a little friend request there. You Thank are you. adorable. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. Yeah, people have to be nice to me because I'm so cute. That you are, and you're a tank. Uh, yeah, yeah. I will. I will protect you. Okay. All right. You will not. You will, milady, will not suffer a single scratch while Cloudyroth is around. <laughs> All right. So you're saying, go to the flaming quest markers is that correct yeah those are the ones that'll that'll drag you through the story uh or do, or should we just do stuff on our own do i have to do the story i mean story will lead to some very cool stuff okay um that's where all the coolest like boss fights and big raids and stuff are do you have a little shark as a pet i do that's the major general oh my gosh he's a cute guy actually well there's a lot this of is, cuteness in this game this is adorable <laughs> this is oh, adorable i like this guy I'm attuning. Oh, okay, yeah, that's important. This is the fast travel. All right, people are saying I can hit escape to skip. Yes. Like I said, the only reason I'm doing this, the main reason I'm doing this is because I'm playing with my friend Lawrence and I want to keep up with Lawrence. Um, I probably would be not skipping this if I was playing by myself and it's okay. I'm not like a lore hound, so it's not a big deal. If, uh, I've tried to follow the story, but since it's unraveled over the course of, you know, a decade, by the time they, like, come back to finish a storyline or reference something, I've fully forgotten what it even was, so. Yeah. Okay, Sometimes so. even trying to pay attention just doesn't work. Looks like Old Gridania, I have to go there for the rest of my main quest, main storyline quest, so should we go uh -huh. there? Yeah, that's right over All here. Right. Okay. It's just the other half of this, uh, this, like, capital city. There we go. Hey, Comic Death Skull. Thank you very much for the resub, Comic. So now that we're over here, you should be able to see your next quest on the map. Something like that. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, there it is. Is it over here? Yeah. Because usually these are just like telling you how to hand over. Person has a pet watermelon. It's breathing. What the? That's creepy. I don't like that. <laughs> Ugh. Okay, you explain the markets. That's good. Uh... So should I go back and then use that, like, that area to go to the other sections 
It looks like I don't have any other main quests here in this area. Okay, then yeah, probably. Looks like that's... You have that's... to go to... Oh, where that guy is. Seems like you have to talk to an NPC, but... Oh, also, um... Oh, this can help. So there's there was the big crystal you touched and shot your, your little hand beam at. There's also tinier ones around. Those are like little fast travel stations. But you have to touch them. You have to like attune to them before you can use them. Gotcha. So if you see any of those little crystals floating around, make sure to touch them. Touch them? Okay. Yeah. We like uh, touching Spexy crystals Beast. here. Thank you. Who doesn't? Spexy know, Beast. Great. Welcome You've to the Goose of Spexy. And Dave B gifted to five subs. Uh, Mahindra, Club Yeti, Lonely Gray, Windiv, and Trungledore. Thank you, Dave B, as always. Thanks, Spexy and Dave B. Uh, welcome, welcome, tragic. Spexy. Well, that, that does, that's the worst. Okay, so. I'm still looking kind of for main quest stuff. It looks like it's probably this way, but that's just a guess. I don't actually know. So here's a, here's a handy shortcut. If you click on the quest on the right, um, and then click on map, it'll just open a map pointing directly at where you need to go. So that that might help. But sometimes it shows you something that's like, oh wait, I know where that is. That's in a weird spot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, here. So well, close to I home. Can, I think I can take you there. It's like all squiggled off. Well, it's weird because... The Conjurers have a weird little cave they like to hang out in over here. Is there a way to toggle which quest I'm tracking or no? Um, yeah. That would be... If you hit J... It brings up your journal and then there's like little tick boxes on the right of all the journal... Or of all the quests you have. Oh, you can either, I see. You can either tick the box to pin it or click it again to remove it from your quest tracker. Okay. So close to home it looks like is... When it's like, like you said, the flaming exclamation point, that's the story quest? Mm-hmm. Yeah, those are the ones you want to target. Okay. We'll take a little bridge. We're going to enter an enchanted magical glade. <laughs> Prepare I bet, yourself. I bet we are. Yeah, this is, uh, just the feeling and the music of it are just terrific. Just yeah, fans. it's oh very relaxing. Gosh, it's so nice. Uh, Todd Nato, keep an eye on those uh, Twitch well, notifications. That's why everybody's in a good mood when they play these games, because the music is so calming most oh, of the time. It's just so nice. I'll pick up, I'm just going to pick up random quests along the way. Just. Whoa. Look at how enchanted this glade is. Holy cow, look at it. This is super enchanted. But yeah, you should... I mean, there's no there's no harm in scooping up every quest you see. The minimap will show you if you're around uh, quest objectives and stuff. Oh, wow, that was a big lore dump there. Okay. Um, <laughs> I was <laughs> skipping all those. Don't worry, chat can summarize it for you. I can summarize it for you. I think you're joint you're joining the the Conjurer's Guild. I think there's a there's gonna be a conjurer that has like her magical attunement is making her sick or something like that, so that's gonna happen. Uh yes, I am going to heal a root chat. There's some junk about trees. You gotta save the trees. I think in every Final Fantasy that seems to be a, like a common theme, right? Saving the yeah. environment. Yeah, naturalism. I I think environmentalism and naturalism is just kind of a cultural thing in Japan. Alright, so it says, do you vow to embrace nature? So what Grab do I it. Yes? Yeah. Take I mean, hold of it. Is that Tell it what that to do. Everybody has to do, or is there like another way to embrace something else? Like is that a choice or a, no? Oh no, you will not lock yourself out of anything in this game. Oh, okay, alright. And dialogue options rarely matter. It's Final Fantasy. Okay, so dialogue, dialogue options don't matter either? All right. Not really, no. Mostly it's just like one or two snippy lines of dialogue in response. Okay. All right, let's see, what do we got? 
I got a ton of actual quests. And then I'm running through... Is there a sprint? There's no sprint, right? Yeah, there is. Uh, yeah, it's all the way on the end of your hotbar. The little icon. Oh, okay. It's like a... Equals it's, it's on a pretty long cooldown, but it, it helps to get around. Gotcha. Because, yeah, you're going to be doing a fair, fair amount of hoofing it early on. All right, so I went... I don't know if you saw where I went. You probably did. I think I did, yeah. It looks like, it looks like I'm, actu Shroud? I'm actually going to be battling things, apparently. Yeah, we almost, we're almost there. Uh, you did all your talking? Oh, quick, quick note. Um, if there's an, if there's an icon over an enemy nameplate, like something that looks like a little sonar dish or a little like speech bubble, mm -hmm. um, you probably want to kill it because that means it's part of a quest that you need to murder it to get credit for. Oh, so like, when this is like a plus sign and a Q over it. Yeah, you definitely want to murder them. So like, there's the icon to the left of their level number will tell you like how they aggro. The little blue symbol actually means they won't attack you unless you attack them. But if it's over the nameplate, that usually means it's part of a quest or a collection or something like that. You'll get additional credit for killing it some kind of way. Um. Oh, there you are. Ah. Oh yeah, there's everything around here is part of a quest. So we gotta kill it all. Let's do it. Let's do it. Casting. Boom! <laughs> That's a really slow cast. Let's do. Attack with a potency of 100. Oh, it's a combo. Okay. I'm learning my, my class too. Oh, oh, you've never played a tank, right? Uh, no. I've only, really only ever played White Mage in this game. Well. This is going to be fun. I'm excited. There we go. And then I do I need to loot these things or is that just automatically happen? I think you have to loot. Because I like if the if the corpse sparkle, usually you can kneel on them and pick okay, them up. If, yeah. if they're sparkling, OK. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know why I'm suddenly forgetting if this game has ground loot or not. You do not have to loot. OK, never mind. Oh, OK. You yeah. don't do that here. Because I, I know each each one is different, so. Oh yeah, no, you're getting. I see in the the log here, you're getting you're getting animal skins. Where do you see that? Oh yeah, there it is. Okay. I guess treasure chests are something you have to open up. Oh uh, ding! What's up? I dinged. What Eel. the hell? There's a spaceship over there. All right, so I'm level three. How do I do? I need to level up somewhere. Where do I do that? No, you get you get all your your increases in new ability. Most of your new abilities automatically. Um, sometimes I think every five levels you'll have a new class quest to do. So every every job has like a little mini storyline that goes along with it. And at every five levels, you get like a new ability and a new chunk of story to get through. Gotcha. Um, so you might uh you might you said you're level three. Um, yeah. Okay. So yeah, at level five, you'll probably have to go go back into your enchanted glade and see what's good in there. It usually gives you a little pop up saying you can you have another class quest available. Don't attack my friend. Okay. Um. Right. Oh, that guy's got a fucking mech spaceship. Yep, that's a big old mech and a flying Santa bear. High quality <laughs> items. Uh, what is it? Inventory is I. Um, do I? Where do I like equip uh, stuff that drops, like clothes and shit? Okay, uh, and I apologize in advance because gear is is a weird thing. So okay, gear will drop into your armory chest, which is separate from your inventory. You you get to that by hitting Control I. Control I. Um, okay. Yeah, your character panel is C. Usually, you can rebind uh, it if you want. That's fine. Um, the easiest thing to do is to open the character panel and just hit the recommended gear button. It's uh, right above your weapon. Um, it's like the little blue sparkly man. Um, um, it takes a minute to find it. Oh, it's there a it tiny is. Button. Yep. But uh, that'll automatically throw on the best stuff in your inventory uh, that your class can wear. Um, but if you wanted to manually poke through and see what you have and see what you can and can't wear, 
or maybe you've got a piece of gear that's just like a few levels away and you want to see anyway all that's in the armory chest and it's all like divided out by gear slot got it uh lawrence and i actually played new world last year it's on my youtube channel it's on probably on lawrence's youtube channel as well mm -hmm. yeah that was fun that was fun i was uh it comes out in a month um i know uh chris lynn's been really into it so we should uh, we should try that out too i was i was having fun playing the beta last week uh okay so these little markers let's see here how many how many quests do i have four quests they're all tracked sorry i'm So I see like um, markers on the map that are like uh, like evil faces. What is mm. what are those? What, oh! are those? what are those mean? Those are those are fates, um, which is those are like the public events in Destiny. Oh, so if we just run in there, okay. and uh, each one has its own like kind of objectives, but we can just dive in there. You want, to, a, you want to give it a shot? I see a big ass scorpion. That's a yeah. big. I don't know that we're gonna be able to kill that, right? Let's kill it. Oh, it's level fifty. Shove a snacks. Let's, let's mess him up. Oh crap, he's big. Yeah, never oh, mind. There's, oh, a lot, oh, oh, there's this a lot guy, of big mind. boys. This guy. There's a lot of big boys. Okay, this guy is not the level 50. I think he's the guy we gotta beat up, but we have to not get murdered by the right. level 50. I'll, I'll beat him up. Alright, I think we're good. I think we're good. Hey! Is there a way to, Can you... Do you tab through... Uh, do you like tab through... Targets? Yeah, targets. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I you mean, do. Okay. Tab will, tab will uh, go through targets. They're... Yay! All right, what did we get? Fast. All right. Uh, window, did you see reward? Okay, cool. F1 through F8, we'll do party members. Ah, thank mm -hmm. you. Perfect, that's okay, cool, that'll help. That way I can heal you. When I think tab starts from the center of your screen and goes yeah. to the right and then cycles back to the left. But usually there aren't that many things to target. Uh, level 27 hair. <laughs> I'm looking for, uh, <laughs> I'm looking for the main, my main quest. That, if you, so the, uh, the direct line to your main quest is always in your upper left. That little guy up there. With the red footprints and stuff. If you click on that, it'll just pull up your main quest, and then you can click on map. And or I guess that that uh, tells you where you need to go. I don't. I don't know where and I am. And from that oh. map, you can click on the blue crystal to teleport right there, but it'll cost money. Got it. Uh, I don't. I would assume I don't have any money. Uh, I mean, you just killed some bugs and stuff. What's up, Kate? Okay. Um, where would that <laughs> currency drop? Like, how do I see? Is it 109 you, gil? Yeah, it just, it just deposits in your inventory. Uh, okay. There's a... Man, I, God, control C is your currency screen. Got it. And at the top is the... Oh, Got oh, it. it's in the bottom right. Never mind. You have it. Yeah, bottom right as well. Okay, so... I can, I mean, oh, fuck it. I can walk. Okay. Yeah? You're taking the scenic route? Okay. I made some bugs mad at me. Good. I figured I was gonna, gonna earn you some more, some more chump money. Where are you? There you are. I'm beating up a bug. Uh. I yeah, I, Matt, Matt Cass is very very slow. You'll eventually get uh, you know more tools, things that you can do instantly, and your stats influence your cast time too. Yeah, just trying to get a hang for navigating around a map. Oh, Sukiyoko's out here. Uh, Sukiyoka says, I'm the Santa Bear person. I've seen the Santa Bear Ooh. floating around. The Santa Bear is very cute. Sukiyoka, I'm not going to take your gill just yet. I'm not going to take your money just yet. I want the streamer buff. I don't want the streamer buff just yet. I want to I wanna get the early, early game. How does this all work? <laughs> I would say that the, uh, the spaceships flying around is... Not what most people see, but that's a lie. That's actually pretty normal. <laughs> uh, let's see here. I'm going to try to... I'm going to go buy some gear. That's oh, okay, cool. Yeah. I think... Yeah, there's vendors over here I can just buy from. 
I should look like a trash level one fighter. This is this is not right. Well, you're level five, so. I guess, yeah, good point. But I'll uh, let's see here. I'll meet up with you. No worries. Yeah, I'm just I'm just doing the story thing. Oh. Well, that's right. There's a special event going on right now. All MGP is doubled. What's that? What's MGP? Manderville gold points, I think. What are those? Uh, that uh, that's one of that's a currency that's basically dedicated to the gold saucer in this game, which is just a collection of weird mini games and it's a casino basically. It's awesome. Oh, gotcha. Okay. We can go uh, we can go run obstacle courses later if you want. Obstacle courses? <laughs> yeah, that's pretty weird. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Here we go. Gonna get me some gear. Oh my gosh, that woman was not wearing very many clothes at all. What's up, unexplainably weird? Oh, was that a bunny girl? Oh. Oh. We'll give up on bunny girls yet, Bruce. There's still time. <laughs> I don't know that I've ever given up on what a what a bunny girl is at all. I'm I'm never I'm never ever going to give up on a bunny girl. MGPs are the only way to get Odin's shield and to get an invisible shield for Glam, Emperor New Shield. I see. So you can actually glamour away a piece of your armor? That's neat. I want Emperor's new pants. Uh, Where the heck wait. is the armor guy? Oh. Okay. Altered leather thigh boots. Those. This new boots. We got boots. New boots. Uh, boot boots. And then the story quest apparently is locked now. It's got a key on it, red key. Ah, so you have to level up. Aha. Uh -huh. Got this it. This is me, what side quests are for. Yeah, let me pick up some old, old, other side quests here. Go kill five wolves. Yep, that's it. We're here. We did it. Um, when when is the first dungeon? What level is the first dungeon? People are saying Anyone fifteen. Know? Oh, okay, okay. We can get there pretty quickly. Okay. Um. So now I think I can actually quest with you because it's. I just picked up a bunch of side quests. Okay. So it I'm should just be able to... a bunch of trash gear. Why is that? Because <laughs> this is like I don't know why this stuff is in my inventory. And it's actually like trash gear is actually better than that. So the stuff I was wearing, it's like it's statless gear, specifically to use for a system called Glamour, where you can like make one piece of gear look like another. Um, oh, gotcha. I can't remember okay. what it's called. Transmog in like World of Warcraft, yeah, something yeah, like that. Yeah. So I just had that kicking around in my inventory. I don't know. It was like a reward for an event or something like that. But um, this stuff is actually better and also makes me look like a trash clown, which is what you're supposed to look like <laughs> when you're level nothing in an MMO. All right. Let me let me catch up to you. Also, can you uh, are you can you share quests in this game? I don't, I don't think so. Actually. Wow, that that's crazy. Like. That's one thing I feel like every MMO should have is a, like I've got a I've got a side quest I want to share with you right now so that we can start it, you know? Yeah, I I have to admit maybe it does, but again I've I've never really done like side quests with anyone, so that's never something I've looked into. 
Yeah. Chat, correct me if I'm wrong, please, because that could be super wrong. Yeah. Um. All right. What 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 area are you in? I am. I believe is this New Gridania, the right, one right. with the big crystal. Yeah, chat. Can you share quests? Is there a share quest button? There is no share quests. People saying. Hmm. Yeah, it's a. Uh, it, this game has subtly different priorities in in how I guess it expects to be played and how it sort of asks you to play it. So the the like questing is kind of intended almost to be a single player activity, even though it does lead to intensely multiplayer activities. Gotcha. It's kind of a weird TikTok. Are you still in New Gridania? Oh, there yeah, you are. I was standing by the crystal. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Oh. Let's, let's go kill some wolves. All right. I think it's this way. I actually really like the uh, the loading. It's very, very fast. Very fast. Oh, wait. This is all... This is no combat. I wonder if... Doesn't look like there's anything. This is just a bunch of other quests. Level 4, hard not to crack. Let's go this way. Um, and that's level three essential oil. Still trying to get, I'm getting used to the, uh, icons as well. So yeah, for sure. It takes a while. It's a, it's a pretty information dense game. They throw a lot at you. One thing maybe to look for is, um, map transitions will have little icons next to them to tell you what's also in that zone. So uh, a little circle with a check mark in it means a quest that's ready to turn in. And if that's on a if that's on a zone transition, then that means you can turn in a quest in the zone that that connects to. Um, you can okay. also see that icon of like your quest objective is in this zone, things like that. But again, it takes it does take a while to sort of parse all that. Uh, okay. And I think there's something way down here. Remember to slap these uh, slap these crystals when you're next to them too. Oh yeah, you're right. That'll help. That'll help getting around. You don't have to run across the whole city every time. And uh, I don't want to put the cart in front of the horse, but if you touch them all, you get an achievement. <laughs> um, I love that it's called the Ethernet, guys. <laughs> I love it. Oh Christ! Oh Christ! What? I regret to inform you, I didn't even think about that until just now. Ever really? Once. You never ever once thought a computer science master such as Lawrence Sontag himself? I just, I get so fully immersed and transported into the realm of Eorzea that it just doesn't occur to me. I can't believe it. I'm going to be honest with you. I thought for sure. I may be a computer scientist, but a Klaaroth Cephalout is not. <laughs> uh, what's up? What are Allegan bronze pieces for? Uh, you just sell them. I think. That's pretty much it. They're just, I, it's like concentrated money. Do I need gold or gear uh, at the beginning? What do you think? Gear, I would guess. Yeah, that's... Gear is like, I don't know. It's still useful in the game, but that's just because, like, they they have a million good things to spend money on. But at this at this level, a few hundred gil here or there, it's going to evaporate in the long run. Yeah. And then those uh, crystals... I have to be near them to use, like, to transport to other crystals, right? Yes. It's like okay. a bus stop. Gotcha. And you can only go to ones you've, you've touched. It's also a good way to get, like, somebody mentioned this in chat. It's a good way to get out of the, uh... Thank you, Rachel. It's a good way to get out of the city without having to run all the way out, too. You can just teleport right to the gate and leave. Yeah. All right, I'm I'm grabbing this quest here. Do you want to grab it? It's an emote quest. Uh, let's see here. What the fuck? Oh, am I supposed to emote near Anali? Is that what's going oh. on? Is that what it is? I don't know. Yeah, I talked to her. Oh yeah, you have to slash bow to her, so. 
There you go, Anna Lee. Show your manners. I just did. Did it work? It did. Yes. I've done it. Is Anna Lee the most lucky NPC in the world? Why? She just gets to sit there and people come up and bow to her, bow to her all day. <laughs> Other NPCs are like getting repeatedly stabbed or shot or exploded or something like that. All right, now I have to do slash nice joy. She's not even getting rained on. Done. Good. Oh. Slash well, dance. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. He's so cute. I dance for you. What are you? What's wrong? Come on. I dance for you. Oh, you have to select her first. Okay. I hope there's a lot of. I got a lot of experience for this. Maybe this I will put you in the next uh, story. Nah, I didn't. Um, Aren't you uh, wrapped in anticipation about what happens next? So it says level five passing muster, but I'm curious to see. Present yourself to Galford for uh, inspection, but it's still red. So what do you think I need for that? All right, are you level five yet? I am level five. Yes. Oh, why? Wait, click on it. Where is it red? Uh, it is red on the map right here. You gotta wear the right gear. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, all right. So. Um, let's see if this will do that for me. Doesn't look like. You must first assemble a respectable set of equipment. Equip your head, body, hands, legs, and feet with gear of item level five or above, and present yourself to the chief. Okay. How do I know? Item level five, level five. Oh, there we go. My uh, my weapon is level f one, so I need to get a new weapon. Oh. Okay. There's, scoots! Uh, yeah, there's vendors. Thank you, Scoots, the, for the tier uh, the two. Town. Good to see you, Scoots. Or you I, can use the uh, the the market board, but for this level, I mean, I'll vendors follow you. are probably the way you want to go. All yeah, right, I'll let's do it. Uh, oh my gosh, you're so small. Yeah, I get a I get lost in crowds pretty easily. Oh. And an art says, I don't think you need a weapon for this. Well, the rest of my gear was level five. So the rest of my gear was level five and it still was weirdly was still giving me the, uh, not the head. Or oh, do I you not have, have anything? To, part of the quest, you may have to equip specific things that they gave you, maybe? Maybe? Um, was it control I for your inventory? I don't have a helmet. Uh, and then... I don't have anything on my waist, either. So maybe I have to buy that stuff? What does the, uh, what does the quest say? The quest says... Equip your head, body, hands, legs, and feet with gear of item level 5 or above. So I think I've got okay. everything other than head. So I guess I just head, need a... body, hands, legs, and feet. Alright, let's go. Let's go shopping! <laughs> Oh my gosh, who's that? There's a little stuff. There's like a little stuffed pig running in front of us. Where? Oh yeah, there there's is. Pigman. I want to catch him, Pigman. Oh, there's another pig. Oh <laughs> there's gosh. another pig. There's a lot of pigs in here. All right. Well, Pigman had business to attend to, I guess. All right. I actually had to do this just before, so. Uh, Taylor, here we go. So go up to this gentleman. You're gonna be disciple of magic. That's right. And then. Gear one to nine. Unfortunately, oh. it lists like it lists gear all in a. No, you should be okay. All right, I got the hat. Uh, make sure that the item level is not one. Just FYI. I believe I bought a level five. Let's let me make sure. Yes, I have a wizard hat on and it's level five. Let's check to make sure that this level there five wizard hat. There we go. Now I can do the uh, story quest. Okay. Right on. All right. Um, you just equipped a level five wizard hat. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Looking good. 
Looking I'm good a, in your wizard hat. I'm a cat girl <laughs> with a wizard hat. I love those, those uh, <laughs> thigh high boots. Oh, there's a chicken man. There's a chicken man. Hold on, let me pick up this, this quest real quick. Uh, uh, it looks like shit. Okay. Oh, Astro Zombie! Thank you, Astro Zombie, for coming back always. How whimsical. Do, 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 do. Oh, wait a minute. This is. Oh, these yeah, are quests that I, I can complete, apparently. Yeah, if, they got, if they're green? Yeah. Uh, well, they're. Maybe not. No, these are. What are oh. these? That means it's a step in another quest. Ah, oh, got it. Yeah. So you might as well, you might as well I'm, well, click I'm on here. those when you see them. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes that same symbol will appear over an enemy, and that means that killing that enemy is part of a quest, or that that enemy drops an item you need, something like that. Got it. Okay. Uh, I guess I could go this way. Yeah, I'm following Cloud of Roth. Oh, oh. Okay. Uh, well, I don't know where you're you're turning the quest in at. Well, it shows other quests like over here. So. Okay. Yeah. Scoop them on up. You can definitely drive yourself insane doing all of the side quests. Oh, at really? At a certain point, if you don't need experience, it's probably not worth your time to do side okay. quests. And all right. Unless you just really need all that lore. Um, the things you want to do, though, are the exclamation points that have a little plus symbol next to them, because those unlock game mechanics or modes or something important. So Other assume, jobs will appear as that, so that might be distracting. I would assume that I... Yeah. I can't travel. I gotta go to this way, because I have not touched the quest that's in the Central Shroud, it looks like, or the, the crystal. Ah. Central Shroud. I don't know that we've been there yet, but you're, you're correct. Yeah, we haven't yeah. touched the big crystal in the Shroud. You headed out. You headed out that way. Yeah. Oh man. Okay, we're gonna go kill some stuff. Oh good. I mean, I guess that's usually why we when we leave the city. There's monsters out there. Monsters and whimsy and adventure. Like ladybugs and squirrels. Oh, did I not touch this? I was over here before. I just didn't touch the. <laughs> Damn it. A marmot or two. <laughs> You're right. There is a marmot. What was that giant scorpion? That was scary. All right. So if you look at the map, there is a giant. There is a crystal in kind of the middle of the zone. Yeah. I'm gonna go talk to this dude real quick, and I'll touch that crystal. Watch are there the like crystal. are there like uh, things you like trades you pick up or anything or no? Is it just? Yeah, there's crafting. There is okay. All right. It doesn't really happen. Like, crafting is the same as every other job. You equip, like, a something in your hand, and then you switch to that job. So it's not... You can't really be a crafter at the same time as being something else, but it all is leveled up on the same character. So it's all there. You just have to switch to the gear set, if that makes any sense. I think it does. Uh... Yeah, it takes, a, it takes a while to understand or to get it. There we go. Uh... Oh, new tights. Actually, you know what? I'm going to grab these silver pieces for fun. Okay. Sorry, grabbing the story thing. I'm going to skip this. Gosh, that's a powerful spread. Uh, if you press C, you can click a tab class and switch to the craft jobs. Okay. All right. Gotcha. I see. Foxy Coxy! <laughs> Thanks, Foxy, for gifting five subs to me and the Goose's Master of Boogie, uh, Lissa, Hips, Worse in the Lobby, and Bopaloo. Thanks, Fox! Thank you, Fox! Okay. Um, now. Oh, I need to touch the crystal. Yep, first of all. slap it up. Crystal's. Yeah, it's a bit of a forest away. We got it, though. Nah, we're fine. And then if you see any, like, if you see any monsters with that thinny little symbol over their heads, feel free to give them a smack. So, like, I don't think that's a... I see, like, little diamonds next to them. That just means they're strong, right? That means that they won't attack you unless you attack them. Ah, they're friendly. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of what that means. That symbol will be different on other enemies to indicate that they will just straight up hit you if you get too close. Gotcha. Gotcha. 
This looks like a nice place. Yeah, it does. A nice balloon. See people riding yeah. around on motorcycles? <laughs> Flying motorcycles, yeah. Pretty uh, rad. Some clarinet. All right. Oh, I wait, is this where you get a chocobo friend? Oh, it is. Oh, neat. Okay. What do you mean? How do I do that? Wait, is, is this where you, or is this where you get a mount? Oh, um, you yeah, you can get a little ostrich bud that will, like, follow you around, and you can set them to be, like, a healer or a DPS or a tank or something like that. Gotcha. So they give you a little friend uh, to play along with. In case you don't have a party. But also, early on in the game, you can get these little cabbages that you can use to summon a chocobo to ride. So I don't know if that happens here either. It says that chocobo porters are available for hire upon attaining level 10. Yeah, they have like, uh, these were the griffins from World of Warcraft, which is weird because they also have the ethernet. So they have both. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Okay, it looks like I'm back to New Gradania, but I guess I can teleport. Yeah. I don't Ride much, the internet. I don't know how much it is. And I think I can only go back to... How do you zoom out on the map? Just be mouse wheel. I mean, mouse wheel will zoom me out, but not the... Then it won't give me the full map? You know what oh, I mean? Oh, I see what you mean. Um... Then in the upper left, if you click on either of the two little things, say Black Shroud or Central Shroud, it pops up a drop down. And then you have to pick another zone from that. Uh, the, the like even more zoom out is if you click on the top one and zoom out of that. Oh, I see. The maps are a little weird, but I think, yeah, we're, we're in the Black Shroud right now. Uh, so that's all the areas in the, like this corner of the world, but below that are all the different zones, and then that's what we're in right now. Okay. Okay. Sorry, there's a quest step over here that I just gotta grab real quick. Yeah, no sweat. I'll, uh, I'll join you. Oh, actually, there's, uh, things to attack as well. Ah! I'm on my way. Sorry, I fell, fell behind a bit. Hit. Sorry, I have tiny legs. I'm so Don't slow. Worry about it. Uh. Hey. What was it? Yeah. Final Fantasy's UI is both a blessing and a nightmare. It's true. It gives you absolutely everything you'd ever need to know. <laughs> sometimes that's that's way too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, look at these little mushroom bands. I think I've killed... Oh, no, I haven't. Okay. I'm sorry, sir. There's my friend. Yeah. Oh, what do you Ooh. carry? Oh, that's a... Yeah. Oh, he got a barfy frog with him. What, oh, did he just throw up on me? Yeah, you got barfed on, dog. What the fuck? Yeah, he's got gross eyeballs. So you can kind of see what AOEs look like. He's actually doing some legitimate damage to me. Landed, landed some chunks on you? Yeah. Uh, oh, they don't have little mushroom butts. That's, an, that's unfortunate. Well, thank you, RHL, for the reset. There. That's right, RHL. Oh, what's this? Do the trees have butts? Man, he's a big guy. I know. Is this a sapling? Cool. Get out of here. Oh, wait, I'm about to enter an instance battle, it said. Nice. Oh, this is this may be for your job, then. Is it? Do I bring you along or no? No, this is this is for you, I think. This quest battle okay, must be yeah. undertaken alone as a disciple of war magic. Yup. I'll see you on the other side. This, All right. These are kind of made specifically to teach you something about your job. Okay. So if they like, if they let you bring other people in, somebody else might do it for you, and you might not learn about healing or you know, the game's pretty good about making sure you go through specific skill checks to teach you stuff. Okay.
Ow. I might go do mine. Look. Yeah, do it. Someone's already. Yeah. Let's see what happens. Uh, oh dear. Oh, this is voice. Is that a sword in the stump. Huh. Bad idea. Interesting. I wonder why it's voice. Got big lore happening. A lot less than the um. The, green the, the main story quests well, and uh, I guess. I know that's story, right? I don't think that's. Oh, you're doing the story quest or is that a job quest? Uh, good question. <laughs> Most of the story stuff is voice, and it, it's gotten more and more voiced as this went on. Oh, okay. You know her, Kublo Cop. Uh, Ace Kitty says his main story quest. So. Okay, all right. The voices have actually kind of shifted a bit since that. Like you're hearing VO performances that are from years and years ago. Yeah. It's kind of interesting to hear them now. How are the readings? Same as the last. Well, name is Q's voice, none of the side continents. <laughs> Splinter Cell. I guess that's true. Is that true? Kuplo Kopp seems convinced. Ever since the calamity, the forest. The slight yeah, I feel like uh, Miss of Pandaria was the last WoW expansion I played a ton. Sort of thing oh, for WoW? Yeah. Yeah. Holy balls. All the trees are mad. What did you do? I didn't do nothing, dude. Ugh. Trees don't get pissed off for no reason. It seems. Alright, so I, I think I'm fighting with this group of people. That's right. You might you might say you're forming a band of friendship to defend the earth. Okay, defeat the friendly creatures. I'm gonna, this is gonna take forever because I'm level six and these are level twelves. It's a it's an epic encounter. Some of the single player instances can can run a little long. Hey, There's thank you, like Shawnee, big for the reset. Knockdown drag out fights, but since it's an MMO and you're alone, it basically just amounts to you just casting the same thing over and over again, yeah, waiting for it to be over. I'm uh oh boy, I was gonna say I'm worried if I get hit like. Oh boy. Alright, well, I'm gonna go ahead and back off a little bit. Oh, they healed me! Never mind. Seriously, you just gotta rely on your friends. Oh, they're controlled by computer. Wow. <laughs> Computers never let you down. I like Bruce. Bruce, you're fighting some like mutant tree, and I'm watching a dude in a white shirt with a feather in his hat bash out uh, three blind mice on an electric guitar over here. Hell yeah, that sounds awesome. Where's that hot cross bun? He's certainly feeling it. He's got a. Ooh, he's getting into it now. These frenzied bulbs are the worst. Oh, it's easy clap. You're doing great, <laughs> pugilist. Oh no. Just knocking out those trees. I gotta I gotta intimidate some people, that's what I'm up to over here. Dropping the old emote on the NPCs, showing them what's what. We did it. We did it! All thanks to me! Better get used to saving the world. This won't be the first time.
Why are you breathing so hard? I, I spanked him. Yeah, you never fuck with trees, guys. You know that. Ever. Yeah, name one time when, when somebody's messed with trees and it, it's gone okay. <laughs> Actually, it's mostly in real life. Oh boy, we like stories where trees fight back, don't we? Oh man, there's some deep lore shit going on over there. I mean, they're not explaining it, so I'm just kind of standing here in silence. Don't worry, they'll get around to it in like eight years. <laughs> gotta be patient. Bruce, you should have to play it in real time. That's that's real MMO stuff. Pretend what like you, it's 2013. What is real time? What do you mean? You have to play the expansions as they come out in the order they come out. Oh, I see. <laughs> but just scaled up to now. I'm looking up straight up her skirt. That's kind of weird. I'm gonna be honest. They knew what you're here for. <laughs> Logan, man! Thank you for the tier three. It's that male gaze everyone's been talking about. <laughs> As always, Logan, man. Thank you very much for being here for an entire year, too. It's fucking huge. I love being tiny. What's great what's... is, like, since they put your character into all the story cutscenes, my little potato man shows up in all of the dramatic I events of this world. Hiding. And it's so wonderful. Because, like, all the characters oh, have to match an eyeline to your character as well. And like it changes the framing and angle of a lot of the shots just so it's not the top of his head. Oh, really? Yeah, that's nice. That's really <laughs> so silly. And as it hath faltered, so hath darkness risen up in its stead, presaging an end to life. For the sake of all, my Laura moment is not as cool as yours, but I'm meeting a real cool homie over here. <laughs> What's this dude's name? His jacket is all the way open. The power to banish the darkness. And he's wearing a leather choker. Crystals of light. I'm uh, I'm watching this only because I I, I kind of want to. I'm curious to see how they explain the crystals. Ah, uh, there's some there's some pretty hot fan theories about the crystals and what they represent. There's been some pretty substantial uh, world lore filling out of in the most recent expansion. Oh, okay. I've been really hitting at the core of all this. By thy deeds, shall the crystals ah, I see. I have to do things for the crystals to reveal themselves. Mm. Level up. You must go kill five boars to reveal the crystal. <laughs> Once you've killed the fifth boar, the one crystal <laughs> will reveal itself. Hey, Dan. Thanks. So many crystals. Oh, is that Thanos? What the fuck? Was that mysterious and sexy stranger? Some some Thanos style man flew by me. Wait, his name's Aldis. My my Thanos is Aldis. Sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> my Thanos. Oh, should I play? I'm gonna play cards. All right, Bruce is flying through an existential ma magical void, and I'm playing cards with a bartender. It's <laughs> about right, though. You're a tank. <laughs> oh, good play. You fainted. <sighs> What's up, Aunt Simmy? Oh, what is it? It would seem an Ixel. An Ixel. And no ordinary Ixel. E that they would. Oh, hell yeah. This deep Got a card, too? Hmm. Cleaning up over here. This is Papa Limo. We found How the are we feeding, then? It was an Ixel. Thanks, Mamodi. Yes, we'll see Brother Esumion's cooperation in the matters. Sukiyoko, I would love to have a goose pet walk around are me. You sure you're I would love that. Understood. We're gonna. We should become minion getting buddies, so we can get all the cute little animals. Understood. We could spend a good lifetime getting all the cute little guys in this. How do you get all the animals? 
Each one is different. They they just drop like items from dungeons. You can there are specialty mini games you can play a lot to win particular ones. It's it's really all over the place. I think that sword might be a Oh sword. Bye pugilist. Great job. I love I love how everybody Don't waves to each other like they're five years old. It doesn't, but it doesn't matter how old the character is. They're effusive with joy. Yes. That's something that, like, I don't know. I read a, I read a paper about. I read a paper about how Sonic the Hedgehog really appeals to some people because he has a crazy, over emotive face. And whenever, whenever I thought about that, I was like, dang, that kind of explains a lot of anime too. Huh. Because you know, it's not a wave; it's a full body, like four-year-old wave. Right. It's every emotion is loud and, and apparent, easy to interpret. Trade. Oh my gosh, Sukiyoko gave me a minion. A goose. Yeah? Oh, you already got a goose! That's let's, perfect. Let's see here. Um, how do I use goose? Use. Right there click? Is. There it is. There you got it. Now I can summon it. What button would summon it? Where would that, where would that drop? Go to a minion. Is it? There's a minion menu. Okay, where yeah. where would the where would the um, min, minion menu be? It, like in the okay, so in the bottom right, there's yeah. a row of like uh, red circles. The one yep. all the way on the left is character. If you click on that, it'll pop up, and then a minion guide is up. The yeah, that one. There we go. From there, it'll show you all your minions. You can summon them. There's even like a button you can use to like summon a random minion if you just want to swap them out. Got it. Oh, you only have more. I goose. want to see this goose. Really there excited. it is. There it is. Uh, <laughs> Thanks, Tsukiyoko. Amazing. Okay. That's incredible. Thank you for thank you for doing the right thing. <laughs> Yeah, I haven't seen a whole lot of minion interactions. Uh, I haven't paid a ton of attention to that, but... I know there are minions that'll, like, like sit on your shoulders and stuff. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Now that we've... So, did you finish your quest? Should we uh, uh, meet back I up? did. I'm going back to do, it looks like, more more uh, story quests over here. But, uh, but yeah. It's done. Awesome. I'll be right back over there. Where's the goose? There's the goose. Is there fall damage in this game? Yes. Damn it. I don't think fall damage will kill you, but I think it'll take you to 1 HP. Gotcha. So if you fall next to an enemy, you will die. I think that's the case. Or if you're like less than max HP and you fall, you can die. I think it'll always do... Oh, it won't kill you outside of combat. Yeah, thank you, Captain. That's what it is. So yeah, as long as you're not in combat, you can take a dive off anything, and you'll... You recover HP really quickly outside of combat. Okay. So it's it's like, yeah, I think they punish it. They, like, don't want you using that to abuse aggro mechanics and stuff like that. Oh, it'll kill in dungeons, people are saying, too, apparently. Oh, that yeah, that makes sense. There are specifically mechanics in dungeons that do try to drop you kill you through fall damage. Platforming is the real end game of Final Fantasy XIV. Oh, Slash Beckon puts them on your shoulder? Only some of them do it. Oh, okay. Huh. Oh, I thought this quest was over. Alright, well. All right, I'll meet up with you. Uh, let's see here. No worries. Yes. <laughs> okay. Can you tell where what zone somebody's in? They're just two friends list? I can also teleport to you. Well. I, I'm near okay. a crystal, so... 
I'll be there in just a minute. Well, I'm gonna have to move somewhere, it looks like. Oh, uh, yeah? Yeah. Let's see here. Damn! Oh, maybe yeah. not. Oh, there you are. Okay, alright. So. Huh. I guess it's just a droning area this way. I don't know Whoa. if you ha have the quest that I have, but. Probably not. Probably did it a while ago, but that's okay. Come along and we can beat stuff up. Well, the leveling seems to be going relatively fast. Yeah, where are you at? Uh, just the beginning of level 7. Cool, okay. Not bad. I want to get to that delicious dungeon. Yeah, that's... I'd, I'd like to try when, that. When's the first primal fight? That's like in the... That's like in the 30s, I think? What's up, Casey? Surprise Bruce isn't a bunny girl? I didn't have the expansion hey. pack. I, otherwise, I would have been one. I'm sorry. He is enjoying the free trial up to level 60 that includes the first expansion, Heaven's Word. Uh, okay. It's pretty. Pretty sure I've got that ring on that you're talking about. Somebody's like saying, oh, like uh, an experience gain ring. Or yeah, something? you have you have a ring that adds the XP. I'm pretty sure I have it on. I don't know that. Uh, okay. It's a golden chicken, man. <laughs> I didn't know they made them in gold. They make them in any color you desire. Yeah, this game rules. Uh, let's go down here. Oh, the MSQ gives you a free Fantasia? Oh, okay, alright, perfect. Uh, Lawrence, what are the <laughs> colored dots on the bottom right? Oh, that's your inventory. Uh, oh. All the teeny little dots are your inventory spots, and the color tells you sort of what item they are. Got it. But, and the dots next to the dots, uh, the the vertical, the two vertical lines. That's yeah. your. Those are your gear. It's your equipment. Oh. I don't know why you would ever need to see that at a glance. <laughs> but there it is. Oh, I can't. I can't do this one. But I can do this one. Okay. Oh, these are the ones that unlock the other classes. Oh. Ah, uh, whatever. Okay. You can take the quests. All it'll it'll basically wind up with you getting like a level one weapon, which would change you to that class if you equipped it. Gotcha. No, yeah, it's, it's all right. I'll... Oh, okay. People are saying it just shows the item endurance on those dots. So if it shows red, it's broken. Oh, and it shows spirit bond. That's a good. That's a really good point. Lee's nuts. What's or, a, sorry. what's spirit bond? Uh oh. Uh, so <laughs> if you. If you wear a piece of equipment while you were an experience, your spirit bond with that equipment goes up. And if a piece of gear is fully spirit bonded, that means something. And I don't know what. I think it means you... It has, like, selling and trading and crafting implications. Okay. You can ext Oh, you can extract materia from it. Okay, so the there is a crafting... Oh my gosh. Okay, so the game has materia, which is sort of like uh, like gems in World of Warcraft. They're like stat modifiers you can cram in your gear. Um, and I guess the process to create that is to wear specific kinds of gear, do combat in that gear, and then turn it into a stat gem. The crafting in this game is pretty wild, and actually pretty, pretty involved. Um, it's not quite like World of Warcraft, where you just feed resources into like a, a bar that keeps filling up. Right. 
I guess I'll grab this one, but I don't actually know. This is a quest that unlocks another uh, job. Oh, okay. All right. Lancer. Yeah. I assumed it wasn't something that was important. It's kind of in the store yeah. area. The plus sign is what kind of makes it a little a little confusing. But um, mostly in cities, the quests that have the little plus signs on it, they're either going to be seasonal. There's like an event where you can win like a Santa bear or uh, a giant Easter egg you can fly around on. Um, or they're going to be the quests that unlock the other jobs. I want the quest where I kill bears. Or I'm wolves or whatever. Yeah, we need to kill some wolves. What's going on? Are you just are you going around the city uh, scooping up all the side quests? Basically, yes, but the way of the conjurer. Ah. <laughs> What's up? I'm just trying to figure out where that because it may have been in a totally different part of that map, but um, uh. the uh, it showed me that there was like a quest to complete in that area, but I spent the first. Like, no joke, I remember looking at the clock, and I spent the first four hours when I started playing this game only running back and forth around the city, just, like, doing side quests and getting lost. Yeah, So, yeah. this is a pretty normal phase. Oh, there you are. Where is it? Oh, it's way over there. Okay. Got it. I gotta start picking up these crystals. I know they always like make these so that you have to walk very far <laughs> because it just it makes you play longer. Oh well, yeah. Ether, the Ethernet is what you want to start leaning on. Then I don't. The, just don't, the problem is I don't know where anything is, so I, I don't know. Yeah. If, like, I don't know how to teleport to a spot that I don't know. You know. Hundred percent. It, it's tough. Um, what I eventually settled into, and everyone navigates differently, but this is what kind of worked for me is. I would basically, like, click on the quest that I want to turn in or want to work on, pull the map up for it, and then near the objective, look around there for a teleport point, and okay. then figure out how to get to that. Um, but, you know, everybody does it a different way. Yeah, that sounds right. But it can, it can be pretty time-consuming to, like, just, you gotta do, like, Uber delivery runs to every single NPC. Oh my gosh, that's a fat, that's a fat guy. That's a fat bird. <laughs> oh, that bird was so fat. Oh. Bruce, look at this fat bird. Where? It's right Whoa, here. Oh, so fat. <laughs> Such a fat bird. Oh, it looks like Frida. It looks like our puppy. <laughs> oh, God they told us that fat bird. They told <laughs> us to, they told us to feed our puppy like a fuckload of food. And we now, are. Does she have a little puppy belly? She has a puppy belly and like a bunch of excess skin around her neck. Oh my gosh. She's is, huge. Is that cute or is it weird? Oh no, it's it's very, very cute, but also like I hope she grows into it. And doesn't stay doesn't get like even more obese. I love it. I love it so much. Alright, let's go this way. Hey, GBB, that's very nice of you to say, and also to gift five subs to DW Beastie, Sakurai, and Wonky Socks, uh, Gekaret, and Progressive. Spread that love if you got gifted from uh, GBB. That's very, very nice of you. Doesn't have to be another sub ever. I don't know. Oh, this so is there's a little zone. There's cues. Who's that? There's a Sparkle Boy up there. Yeah, what is, who is that? Oh, uh, that must have been somebody on a mount. Never mind. Oh, okay. There's that was like a magical enemy. I want to kill things so, so bad. Uh... Oh. Okay. Done. 
I'm just picking up the I'm picking up the quest in these in this area here. All right. Not too bad in terms of. Oh, can I go in here? It shows a quest marker around the other maybe around the corner. Quest markers can also be a little unspecific. Yeah, it seems like the back side of this. They're kind of like big blobby markers. They don't really point very accurately on the map. I did it. Nice. That's a really nice goose you got. Why, thank you. All right, I got the burlap sack. Let's hope. Let's hope we kill a few things over here. Maybe? Uh oh, fall down. Okay. Dunk. There's cues over these things, I guess. I mean, fuck it. Now let's get them. Fuck it. Murder time. Frames Jenko, thank you, Frames Jenko, for the resub. Oh, nice, Frames. I still don't know if... I guess maybe they are. When it says Q, that means it's uh, it's quests, right? Q. I'm not sure what you mean. There's like a Q over there, here. over there, here. I'll, I'll try and show you on the on the uh, stream. Oh, yeah, I guess that is it. That it is looks a like it's working. Thing. Yeah. Yeah, that means, that means that they are part of a quest, and killing them will give you quest progress. I guess I always thought of it like a little, like, speech bubble thing, but, yeah. I think it's, I just assumed it was a cue for quests, but I could be wrong. I, you're probably right. <laughs> Alright, those are all done. Oh, there's something big down here. A level 12 sapling. We beat it up? Should we try? Yeah, let's beat it up. Oh, whoa, a lot of things just got mad at you. What just... Hey, his monkeys are throwing rocks! What's with these jerk monkeys? What the? It's all these fucking monkeys. Yeah, where'd they come from? Oh, yeah. Why are the monkeys protecting the tree? Maybe they live there. These monkeys. Trouble making Opo Opos have expanded their territory slightly too close to Blessed Bud. Bloody their noses a bit and sure they keep their distance. Okay, so. They're spamming like. These monkeys. Crazy. Alright, so now should we beat up on the. Man, here come more! Yeah, this is part of a. part of like an event. Oh, okay, alright. Breaking Bud, get it? Wait, is that what it's called? Breaking Bud? Yeah. Really? They make Breaking Bad puns in a Japanese game? Oh, it's gonna get worse. Or better. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how you read that situation. <laughs> okay. Oh. There's more. Fuck you. Oops. Oops. Yeah! Alright, we did it. We killed all the monkeys. Get it, monkeys! Pick your monkey gold! Mine. I'm an adventurer. Oh, nice! Oh, with the heels! Alright, oh. so let's let's get this dude. Yeah, I'm gonna mess him up. Let's mess him up. Arr. Oh, he hates me. See if I can oh, boy. aggro. This is what I'm here for. Let's go. Wait, what? Hey, hey, there we go. You got him? I think so. Yeah, he's hitting me now. All right, I'll try and try and get the ads here. Oh, he's hitting you hard. Oh. Hello? Oh, I missed the heal. There we you go. You can do that? Apparently you can. I... Ow. Sorry, I'm helping you out. Ow, 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 ow. There you go, I got you, buddy. Nice. 
Nicely done. Ooh, level dot two. Nicely done. And get a little victory shout. <laughs> ah, fearsome. <laughs> that was nice. That was a good little fight. Good little scrap. The lead of English localization is an American that was a fan of Final Fantasy and tries to put as many puns in there. His full name is Michael Christopher Koji Fox. And it's not a nickname. He was generally called Koji. There you go. Yeah, that's true. A lot of little, a lot of little like jokes that make you breathe, breathe hard out of your nose. <laughs> yeah. A good, a good like firm exhale. The, uh, the scoff, the. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. Somebody in chat saying that I should only pick up side quests that are blue. Yeah, sensible oh. chuckles. I don't know that I've seen. Blue? I don't know if I've oh, seen. Oh, the ones with the lip. Wait, what? I don't know, I'm not sure. Are they referring to like the ones with a little plus sign on them? Maybe? Blue side quests unlock mechanics in the game. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I guess that's blue. Yeah, other side quests are, are usually not the most efficient way to, to gain experience, unless yeah. you just really like doing quests. Um, wow. But at this, I don't know, at this. Actually, I guess at this level, yeah, it would probably be more efficient to just go around and kill stuff until we level. But you do need to do story quests. So that does actually unlock playable content. Right. Um, All the little plus quests, you get, like, experience and something... Like, sometimes they lead to whole other branches of gameplay. It's wild. It's really hard to tell which ones are important and which ones aren't. I'm gonna go and... they give you the plus. I'm gonna go and try it. Looks like there's a little spot here to touch this crystal. The crystals seem like things I oh. really need to be doing. Yeah, that'll so. save you a lot of time. You can also teleport from anywhere. Uh, oh. To to any Aetherite. It just costs a little more. Oh, okay. Got to GBB. Oh, level 25 Scorpion. You want to beat it up? I don't think we can. I mean, I... You want to try? Bane might. It's got its own name. I, I can't remember what happens in this game if you die. I think. Oh wait, you go back to the last Aether crystal that you you like zapped right, to. Let me let me touch this one real quick. We can give it a shot. Oh yeah, we could just we could just set our way or our home point here. Oh that's right. Okay, so you can teleport at any time. You also have an ability on cooldown to return to any crystal you set for free. Gotcha. Um, so it's like a Hearthstone basically. Yeah. 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 So there's some tools you can use to get around. There's some tools you can use to get around for free. You can also set certain warp points as favored points and then teleport costs there are halved. Yeah, your home point, that's it. Okay. I'll set the home point now. All right, I'm gonna give, a, give that Scorpion a... All right. Set the home point too. A run? All right, I'm on the I'm way. I'm probably not gonna attack attack him at all. I'm probably gonna only do healing. Okay. That seems to probably be the probably be the way here. I only have DPS abilities, so this will be it'll be pretty easy to find out if this is even possible or not. Be careful to right. not aggro the other one. <laughs> Eat my ass, Bane might. Eat it. Oh no. Oh. Hit. That does so little damage and I'm missing a lot. Uh oh. I can't, I don't know if I can do enough damage to keep aggro off. Oh, <laughs> a friend helped. Oh, there's another one. Ah! Holy shit! That was close. Oh, oh I, I think did eight damage. <laughs> they're they're just helping us. Yeah. Well, that's I. You know what? I appreciate it, but also unfair. <laughs> If we come back in like one hour, we can sneeze at that thing and kill it. Yeah, that's true. Um, let's see here. What else we got? What else we got? There's, looks like there's a quest down here. There's one of those blue quests. Oh, can I, I have to take the bridge? Okay. Um. Uh. 
Hearing that calm water relaxes me after all that pitched battle. <laughs> you hit the scorpion twice? Yeah, I don't even know if it was twice. There was a lot of missing going on. Okay, so there's apparently a quest marker over here. But I don't know how to get to it. Is it up on the hill, maybe? No, that's that's out. This is the wall, basically, so... It shows... Hmm. And it shows one of those blue quests that people are saying I should get, but... Well, let's say it's a little to the southeast. That does look like one that you should get, though. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, I think we have to run around this. I see. Yeah, that's the wall you're referring to. Okay. Yeah, if you come on, you have to come back north to come to run all the way around. How come I can't see you on there? That's weird. Okay. Gentlemen, gentlemen. <laughs> the doctor. Smells like tree spirit. Bruce. Yeah, no, I, I, yes, I got it. <laughs> Can't do that one yet, though. That's level 37. Sorry to get your hopes up. Oh, man. Was Wait, it back right. here? It is back here, but I don't know where. Hmm. Is it the corrupted soil, possibly? Oh! Uh. That was dangerous. Where you going? Eh. Oh, I was trying to run. It's weird. All right, that was I it. I a sentient crystal had a feel. Now I'm going to talk to this dude. Hello, Nolanyal. Nolanel. Go ahead and skip that. <laughs> uh, what news, Nolanel? <laughs> All right. It's so quiet at night. All these uh, mightlings and oh, level five Exalis. You could. Uh, oh. So those those guys will attack you, I think. They will, yeah. That, I assume they were oh. aggro. I also think that symbol means that they'll help friends. So there's like there's ones where they're aggro, and then there's ones where not only are they aggro, but if you hit somebody they're next to, then they'll attack you too. I think that's what that icon meant. Okay. Oh, I see. Wait, what? The phone? Yeah. I got here bees. Do you hear bees? Yeah, yeah. There's some bugs around. It's a little, it's a little unnerving. Oh, yeah, there are some. Okay, this seems to be a quest. I don't know why. Are <laughs> squirrels? I didn't mean to. You can do it. I don't know why. You're a hero I'm, after all. On, on level one. <laughs> I'm a warrior of light or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Stepping on a squirrel's head. <laughs> Take that. This is the dark and gritty DC reboot. <laughs> all right. Uh, two more squirrels. Got it. Coming right up. Boom! Hey, you are not part of this fight, Squirrel. Okay. Squirrels have been slain. Uh, you feel like a hero? You feel big and, <laughs> big and strong? <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, Pete, it's cool. Oh, jeez. Mm. It does feel bad, man. Watch his murder uh, squirrel. Whatever. I got some skins out of it. <laughs> That's right. That's how I know I'm a hero is when I get squirrel skins. Yeah. A grocery bag filled with bloody skins. <laughs> Bring it back to a wizard. Yeah. <laughs> Here you go. I know this is what you needed. You pervert. With, man, adventures had to smell terrible. Hauling around monster guts all over the place. Oh, absolutely. How were people even alive back when there was just piss on everything? <laughs> I guess your brain just must get used to it. Okay. Oh, I got a new, uh, repose. A flick's target was sleep. Okay. Uh, I got a new robe. Do you like my robe? Hey, wow. You look smart. <laughs> look like you're about to, uh, go clothes shopping in like 60s, 60s London. Oh, I do. You look fancy. Oh. Wizard hat even fits. Oh my gosh, your duck just walked into frame. So cute. Oh. Uh, it, it is called a duck, but I I would hope that it is people look, make it look like it's a goose. It's definitely a goose. I think we should call That's it a goose from now on. No, no. It says ugly duckling on it. That's what you're thinking. Oh, oh. his little feet. Look at that. We just had a <laughs> greeting party. Uh, uh. Okay. One of them is buddy. So there's like a thousand side quests that I'm not going to pick up in here. So where is that? All right. Can you teleport to Bench Branch, Bent Branch Meadows? Maybe. I'm going to I'm, I'm going to do it. I can't. Terrific. That's where I'm headed. And it looks like I can continue the story quest here. Oh, cool. You're humming right along. Yeah, that's that's working as intended there. Uh-oh. I'm going to make this. Uh oh. Level 9 water sprites. You want to attack these level 9 water sprites? Yeah, let's kill them. All right, I'll wait for you. I'm scared. I can wash all the squirrel blood off my hands. <laughs> I'm shoving them directly inside oh, yeah. and grabbing the like, grabbing the brain stem of the water sprite, and yanking it out. Boom! Man, this is awesome. There we go. Boom! Final Fantasy became very Doom all of a sudden. Heck yeah! My two loves combined at last. Oh, what the fuck are you? What does this mean? That's a big gross bug. You know what? Let's kill it. It's got an icon over it, so it looks like something I per should probably kill. Uh, that is a that is a story uh, objective. Oh, great. Okay, good. So. I need more of those. Oh, let's we gotta squish the bugs? Yeah, let's get them. I don't think... I'm trying to see what Repose does. Does it sleep while you attack it? I don't think... I think you wake it up when you attack it, right? I think I do. Sleep is a very weird ability. I don't know that I've ever used it in sincerity, ever. Okay, alright. It's one of the few, like, few abilities that I don't think has a practical use most of the time. Hello? Oh, okay. But I could be super wrong about that. Um, my knowledge is all has all evolved in a void. I, like, I haven't read wikis or anything. I just played the game a lot. So there, there are definitely gaps in my knowledge. So. Somebody in chat knows. Do say. Wait. I assume sleep was good for me to like use on an enemy so that I can run away from it. That's what I, I think it's. Yeah, I think it's your getting getaway ability. Oh, PvP! I forgot that that's in this game. Okay, PvP actually makes tons of sense. Okay. Oh, actually, I get it would take a it would take one enemy out of a pull 
but you never really need to dice up a pull. People usually grab... They're usually, you know, portioned out pretty well. Yeah. Oh, Palace of the Dead. Oh, that's a good point, too. Yeah. Anyway, it, it's in the back of the toolbox most of the time. Yeah, yeah. There you go. There's the garbage bag full of blood. Okay. Huh. I guess I have to kill more of these forest fungwars. Get them. <laughs> the story take a turn. I have to kill more of them. Did I, did I pick up this quest again or something? I feel like I already did this. <laughs> Maybe? Maybe? Repeatable you... quests have a specific, like, recycle symbol on them. Well, and you can't pick up, like, a quest that you've already done, right? I assume once you've done it, you've done it. Unless, unless it's a repeatable quest, yeah. Oh, okay. But there are quests that will have you kill the same kind of enemy. So, like, there could be a side quest for the Fungwars and then also a story quest for it. Okay. Um... Fungwar. Let me know if I'm getting a little too murder crazy. No, 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 never. I'm just, uh... Midair healed, nice. I'm trying to figure out... I tried to trick you, but you got me. <laughs> uh... I'm clicking this, and it's not appearing. Maybe it's because of this. Oh, there it is. Okay, it's south. Alright. So are you doing your story quest along the way, or are you just sort of foregoing it and forgetting about it? The story only happens once. Um, I can do something called New Game Plus mode, where the story quests proliferate into my world, and I can do them again. Yeah. Um, I just don't get experience for it, for just, like, doing it over. So... I can try to, like, find where you are in the story and activate that mode so we see the cutscenes at the same time. But if you're nah. just skipping the cutscenes, there's not really much of a point. Yeah, no, that's fine. I was just, I wanted to make sure you were leveling as yeah, well. Yeah, I'm getting experience for, uh, for the stuff we kill. I'm getting, like, money and goodies. Okay. Oh, yeah, we gotta kill these things, too. Yeah, I mean... Again, people are like, oh, you're doing a lot of the side quests that don't really level you up. I mean, I, that's that's the only thing I've got, so. <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah, we can just, yeah, it's pretty much just killing stuff. Uh, what what level do you have to be for your next story quest? I think, let me check, hold on. Uh, I have to go this way anyway, so hold on a second. Might as well just knock this shit out. <laughs> Bog Yarzons. Dude, they're pretty weird looking. They are they're oh. really super cool, actually. Okay, I got that one. Oh, the Surveyor's Rope. What's this? I didn't mean to heal you. Fuck. <laughs> Guys, uh, yeah, I don't know why not. Okay, looks like I have to pick these things up, which is probably part of another side quest. Definitely. Yeah, no, I, I know what the main side. So I know what the icons look like, but again, I'm just, I'm just doing, I'm doing what the game is telling me to do, guys. <laughs> yeah, so, some people will get like there's there's ways to min max the level grind, but yeah, I mean. I've only been playing the game for two hours. <laughs> <laughs> I think usually what happens is like, people get really excited for people to see what comes later in the game and they want to try to get you there as fast as possible. That's the way every MMO is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but then it feels like you're just getting shoved in the back like really hard and you're like, eh. Can I go this way? Yes, okay.
Uh oh, I joined a fate. It's okay. Oh, they already did it. <laughs> All right. Oh yeah, if you if you contribute to a fate, like an event, and then you leave, you get credit for your contribution when it ends. So sometimes you can like hit a couple of enemies, not know that they're part of a fate, move on with your day, and then like 15 minutes later it'll, it'll be like, "Boo! You won!" And it doesn't make any sense. But <laughs> you won. Sometimes that happens too. Oh, I think that was part of the main quest, actually. What what we were doing in there with those uh, those spider things. Yeah. Because I was picking up like boxes and shit that I needed to. But that was part of the part of the main quest. These bog yarzons. Oh, we got to get more of them. Well, they're just kind of here. Oh. I have to pick oh, up I some see. some shit. Should you interrupt me again? Got a lot of guys on you. You bet I do. Got a lot of, got a lot of mean boys. Let's go. Boy, they are everywhere. How are you doing? I'm, not, I'm actually all right. I'm not doing too much damage. Oh, Wait, yeah, I go. lied. <laughs> I was actually almost dead. I got you. Thank you. How dare you, Water Sprite! Let's get out. Blech. Come on! There we go. Get those things. And then recover the boxes of Surveyor's Instruments. Looks like there's more. Oh, there's another one over there. Water Sprite? Why are you doing it? What's your problem? You gotta pee in a water sprite to keep it from resurrecting. <laughs> Ooh! What's this new ability? What do you got? Oh, okay. I can. I got like a instant that raises my defense for 20 seconds. Oh, that's cool. I'm starting to get some tanking abilities. Okay. Okay, there we go. Let's go beat up that stupid scorpion thing. Now that I have this, I'm invincible. If we try, they're gonna, like there's gonna be five other people that hit it once and kill it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll miss twice and then it'll just die instantly. <laughs> will JNS take you will for the prime? I'm on the way to my story quest again. Awesome. Yeah, as long as you're uh, as long as you're leveling up, just let us know what we can do to level you up. Oh me? I, it's not really going to be an issue for a while, okay. I don't think. All right. Um, the only t like the time it might be a problem is the first time we get to a dungeon, there might be like a level requirement requirement on it. Yeah. That I'll be uh, short for. For that, I don't know. I think that'll go by pretty fast. We're pretty low level, so even if I just need to like beat up beat up uh, NPCs for a while, that's easy. Doing fates is a can be an efficient way to level up too. Running around to those little event, little events, and doing what they uh, what they tell you to. Yeah. Okay. We'll go pick this up while I'm here. Um. Oh, I got a new thing. Is that some narrative going on? I got a new thing. Uh, got some story happening. Parasite cleave. Apply the amber unguent to the alien trees and slay parasite fungwars. Ooh. Oh, I, can, I see. Okay. 
Hey! What are you doing here? What's going on with the mushrooms, Bruce? I'm repairing the trees. Oh. Hold, please. Ah, it smells like vanilla now. <laughs> this is Closing like... the trees down with essential oils. This will help. <laughs> so I think if I do this... It'll, it'll spawn a fungoir, so get ready. I'm ready. There he is! Uh, I'm taller than the fungoir now, finally. Uh, are you standing on a stump? Yes. <laughs> I'm tall boy. I'm angry. Rawr. Warrior. Yes. Fungoir! Alright, you bring him over here. You bring him okay. over to the stump. You got it. Oh, make I'm sure gonna you... mess you up when you get over here, buddy. All right, now stab here him in the comes. head. Woo! <laughs> the ultimate tag team move. Look at how tall you are. Good for you. I'm, I'm giant. Good for you. Look at all you tiny people down there. Am I the Lorax? <laughs> there, I fixed the trees for you. I've restored nature. Okay, let's see if I can teleport. Oh no, it's oh good, it's just right over here. Perfect. We're all the everybody's the Lorax in Final Fantasy lore. What? Everyone. I'm the Lorax. Yeah, because apparently Lorax is fight for the environment, which I didn't know. Wait, really? I don't know. I thought yeah. they were just radical dudes, and and now ladies. Wait, where is this thing going? It's chasing that other guy. Chasing Keladon Shadow Strike. Stop running away. The oh, do we have to beat up these things? Yeah. I know. Serious damage to me. There we go. Boom. Okay. Helidor, Shadow Bane. I'm gonna slay three of them. All right. I see. I see like three more through total. It's messed uh, up. Yeah. Two more left. All right. I'm gonna spice things up. Double. Yeah. I'm gonna try to see if I can. Ah. Uh, let's see if I can grab aggro. Boom, nice. Got it. Not a problem. Not even a problem. Obtain an an anal egg. Oh, there's oh, an egg. Okay. Oh yeah, there's an egg over here. All right. Uh oh. Uh, we're... Sorry about that. Ooh. Oh, that was... New alpha male has emerged. <laughs> yeah, it's this guy. I'm gonna get the egg. <laughs> All right. Egg obtained. Nice, good egg get. We did it. Careful! Oh, you have an egg. You gotta watch out. <laughs> it's a special story egg. I like when the music gets all like introspective and sad. Do 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 do. Yeah, makes you think about beating up animals and being a warrior of light and stuff. <laughs> I did it. I'm the best. Okay, let's go. 
over here. Grab some water. Oh, in real life? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's fine. Well, here, let me. I'll take a. Let's see. I have some beet soup in the game, so I'll take a sip on that. Ah, <laughs> uh, actually, okay. I got a good status effect out of that one. Uh, and I'll be right back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I got your egg. Bang! Yes! Oh, Medica, what's that? Okay, so... Removes a single detrimental effect on the target, it restores own HP and the HP of all nearby party members. Oh! Okay. All right. I love new spells. What's up? What's up, Viv? Yeah, Kendoma, we saw you floating around in there. I'll just go ahead and skip this. All right, speak with Allison. I'm gonna walk this way. Am I big into MMOs? I played a lot of MMOs uh, over the course of my gaming career. My my major complaint with with every MMO has always been the same, which is like if I don't focus on it. As much as, I don't know, even just any one friend, then I get out leveled pretty fast and I sort of just, and then I end up just questing alone. So I was hoping, since Lawrence has been playing this game for a long time, that if we, like, let's say we play it once a week or something, that Lawrence and I just sort of end up staying in the same area. Um, and then that way we, like, slowly build our characters up. Since I'm streaming, it makes it even better because I can actually take the time to do it. So... Oh. Back. I'm back. Okay. I'm back and I'm piss free. Alright. I am a little far south. I don't know if you see me. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Okay. I'll catch up to you. Okay, cool. Back in just a second. Uh, there's Cloud There's Cloud Hello, Cloud Hello! Oh, I'm getting hugged! I'm getting hugged by a Oh, how nice. Um, okay, so we have to go in here. I, uh. You got a, you got a hug too. I just, oh, I did! A little, little late. I'm here, and I'm here to rescue you. Hug her back? I didn't hug her back. Oh no. Oh no. Are people killing all this stuff already? Oh, they are. Oh, what do we? What do we have to? What do, you, what do we got to kill? Um, I'm Not supposed to like not. rescue people, but uh, it looks like there we go. But there's also like enemies around to kill too.
Ah! A swarm! Bugs! No one expects the bees! No. Oh no, how do we fail? I, we must have come into it right as it was ending. Oh, uh, wow. The guy we had to fight was right around the corner, and I guess it just ran out of time. I wasn't really looking. That's like surprising. It's pretty rare, to be honest. Usually that's just because, you know, they spawn in the middle of nowhere and no one runs out to do them. Um, okay. Looks like there's one more I didn't rescue. There's so much shit going on. I got pretty busy in here. Where is it? Oh, down here. Okay. There's one more in here now. Oh, this this may be a I have to leave a party thing. Yeah. Let's see. Oop. Yep. All right. Yep. Go here forth. I, here I go. I'm so excited for you. Here, let me let me activate stream again so I can I can experience the story a few seconds <laughs> behind. I don't know what hunt trains are. I would assume Lawrence does. Uh, yeah, there are um. I actually don't know what a hunt train specifically is, but there are hunts that are just like basically like little uh, specific monsters you can go kill for an experience bonus. You pick up flyers and then you go hunt those monsters. Uh, I guess a train is just gathering up a big old pile of them and killing them all at once. Okay. That's what I'm going to assume. Oh, and hunt currency. I think at this point, uh, well. Hey, Landale. I don't know. People, I, I guess people are offering up uh, potential ways to, to level. You spawn all manner of different hunt targets, then you group up and go hunt them as a big group. Ah. Well, it's a good thing this uh, this thing doesn't hit me hard. Yeah, usually it's just a big tanky fight to get you very used to like using your abilities. Or it's just long, arbitrarily, I'm not sure. It is long? There aren't too many of these where it is a single-player thing. Um, there are a few, but not too many. Yeah. Uh oh They're just kind of, like, way at the beginning. I think they figure, like, people are still new at the game, and they need really forgiving uh, fights that let, are really long and let people experiment, and get hit a lot, and still not die. That makes sense, yeah. It's not always like that, though. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hey, Javi. Oh, jeez. I can do this, guys. This is what I've been training my entire life for. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I did it. Save the world again? Once again, the world is saved thanks to me fast. and that tiny little wand that I have. Uh, hello? Oh, the pugilist is back. And this isn't voice for some reason. Huh, weird. Uh, 
I did beat a rock guy by throwing rocks at him. You're right. <laughs> You're better at it than him. I'm, yeah, I'm better at the rock throwing rocks than the rock golem. Mm -hmm. What do they know about it? Think about it, Bruce. If you are made of flesh, you're probably not very good at throwing it because it's stuck to you all the time. You're not just going to rip it off. It's a fantastic point. Never thought about that. But a rock monster would probably be pretty good at throwing meat chunks because they just, <laughs> they're not afraid of it. I never thought about any of this, Lawrence, and uh, I agree. Although that's pretty grotesque now that I think about it. <laughs> throwing your own flesh at somebody? I mean, you... But if you were a if you're a rock monster and you're living in a cave, you're basically inside like a big rock womb the whole time. Oh yeah, true. That's why they're so mad. They're all like nice and cozy in their little rock cave surrounded by all those rocks. It's like being surrounded by a, a meat sleeping bag. A rock a lobster, one might say. This, this guy needs to be naming Final Fantasy XIV quests. <laughs> Twitching pickle? Yeah, you do. Meet up with what was it? Uh Michael Christopher Koji Fox or whatever? Oh yeah. And you guys will hit it off. That makes the splinter cell sound too, believe it or not. Those goggles. There's a little There's a little kid with a got with goggles on, and he makes the splinter cell sound. He is not a child. That is a very serious adult thing. Oh uh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> His little Sam Fisher tactical goggles on. Great. The good thing about this game is there's zero boundary on what they can do because it's all magic. That's the best part of magic, though. Yeah. Oh, tactical a wizard. Sam Fisher goggles. A wizard did it. A wizard did it. I mean, like a an elite, an elite spec ops wizard is a really cool idea. Oh yeah, it is. Man pelling in. He's got like throat cams and he's like, casting spells all secretive like. That's the uh, the next evolution of Tom Clancy. <laughs> Battle wizard. Tom Clancy uh, Splinter Cell Magic Rainbow Six. Oh. Yep. Man. Yep. Alright, I'm back. Oh, Wait. you did your story? Alright, I'm gonna run over there. Feel free to uh, shoot me an invite whenever you'd like. If you think about it, you basically become a wizard as soon as you pick up a gun. <laughs> Gives you magic powers. It's true. Uh, you cast a fire spell. Still thinking about it. Uh, I'm trying to remember where, where you were. Oh, there you are. All right, all right. All right I'm running out to you. All right. Where's your next? Uh, where's your next turn in? Is it back in the oh, city place uh, thing? Yeah. Uh, I need to go to New Gradania, so I'll transport there. Ah. Okay. I'll teleport there as well. Fantastic. <laughs> You're a wizard, Harry. Bang! <laughs> Your father's nine millimeter. <laughs> Don't forget about the assault rifle. What? <laughs> the AR-2000? Man. I did it, Mother Beyond. I did it. I'm the best. Yeah, because they could just they could just ride their guns like their their brooms. It's all in one. Ride their guns. Oh, you got guild leaves, baby. I don't know what that means, but yes, I did. They're just like randomly oh. generated quests that aren't really super worth the time. All right, I'm gonna play cards again. Do it. Hmm. Alright, so are you sure you're leveling up the same? I mean, like, now you're level 8 and I'm level 11. I guess it doesn't matter too much. Not yet. I'll be able to, to kill stuff pretty effectively. 
Let's see. It'll only matter if, like, if there's a level requirement or an item level requirement for the first dungeon I can't hit. Um, but yeah, okay. I should probably spend this time uh, grinding. <laughs> I'm I'm uh, teleporting to Bent Branch Meadows. I'll That's be there I... as soon as I beat the pants off this uh, <laughs> hotel concierge. What? Oh, there's plus one. There's a bird yelling at me. Oh, I man, I almost gave that one away. <sighs> that was dangerous. Right, wait, where'd you go? Sorry. Uh, Bent Branch Meadows. On my way. Uh. <laughs> the jaw harp, yeah. <laughs> there's a twangy, there's a twangy dumb song that plays when you play cards in this game. Oh, really? Makes you feel like you're in an old timey saloon. Playing a nice game of cards. <laughs> what is that, I wonder? It's just straight up the song from Final Fantasy VIII, so it also has like, nostalgia bombs for people. Not for me. Like I was saying before, I, the only Final Fantasy I've ever played is Final Fantasy VII Remake, which I actually really enjoyed. So. Versus the Daywalker. That's true. I, I have never played any other Final Fantasy besides that. There are a couple of references to, well, re to Seven really, but in this game they look more close to Seven Remake. So people are people are flying around on Cloud's motorcycle. That's very exciting. That sounds very exciting. Yes. And I'm sure I would be very I, excited. I cry every time. <laughs> See Cloud Motorcycle. <laughs> Whoa, there it goes. I know, I, I hear it. <laughs> I hear it hovering above me. They didn't used to allow flying in the zone either. I mean, allow. It, it was older than flying, but... Uh... They've recently updated it, so... So you can hear hover bikes zooming past at maximum velocity at all times. Okay, so now... Report to the central shroud. This way? We're in the central shroud. That's what I thought. Okay, alright, we gotta kill these things. Um, these level 10... Keykern Scramblers! Oh, suck it! Oh, wow. How dare you. How dare you. Look at these little guys. Little Star Wars looking fellers. Wearing their little hoods. They got dump truck booties. Oh, yeah, you're right. Well, uh, is that a bag, though? Oh, yeah, there's a satchel. Yeah, that's a good point. Maybe we can Actually, steal their stuff. Uh, yeah, that was a very mournful sound. Eat this! <laughs> okay, we need to only slay okay. one more. Is there loot? one more? Is there random loot that you can pick up or no? Yeah, sometimes there, there'll be like little treasure chests and stuff, but it's never gonna have something that's just like knock you on your ass amazing. Yeah. Nice. All right, I'll, I'll just I'll just heal you. Boom. Thank you. Of course, no problem. Yeah, usually the, the way it goes is like, you have to like kind of alternate between DPS and healing. Yeah. DPSing as much as you can to keep everyone alive. If everyone stumbles through the fight at one HP, at the very end, you did exactly the right amount of healing. Right. <laughs> that makes sense. That makes sense. <laughs> you want your party bloodied but barely breathing. Mm. Oh. No heal is as powerful as murdering the enemy. Exactly. <laughs> ah. 
god. <laughs> Those noises. I refuse to feel bad. I'm not going to. Oh, I don't won't. feel bad, no. Not for a second. Actually, you do quests for them later. <laughs> They're pretty nice. But, nope. Won't feel bad. Don't do it. I'm the warrior of light. <laughs> and you always will be, except for all the yeah. other people. Ooh. Uh, They're in different realms or whatever. Letting DPS die so you can keep uptime is a valid strategy. Yeah, I mean, I've... There have been times where I've wanted to, like... Yeah. It's been more important. <laughs> That's a rough call to make, though. Bruce, you're, you're eventually going to have to be triage doctor. What does that you're mean? Gonna look at some, you're going to look at some cool anime dude with a flaming sword standing blithely right in an area where, like, a planet is about to crash into him. And you're going to have to willingly let him go. You're going to have to surrender him to the void so you don't use your spells at the wrong time. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to yell into the void. I'm sorry. Yeah. That's okay. They just take a little nap. Oh, I can resurrect now. Your cooldowns are more important. So it says remove blue trumpets, but I'm trying to figure out. I don't know where the blue trumpets are. Remove blue trumpets. Is it, is it up above? Oh, it might be. Let's see. That's oh, a yes. big tree. I see some uh, mushroom tips up there. Whoop. Look at how whimsical this is. Look at this big old tree. This is this is some kind of Final Fantasy, huh? <laughs> wow. Didn't expect to see this today, did you? A big old tree like this. I actually did. I, uh, <laughs> most of us oh. kind of do look like this a little bit. Yeah, yeah big trees. Oh, Bruce. There's a big-ass fat cat to the left. I just saw... Look at that look fat that. thing. I'm busy doing... I mean, you know, I'm busy cleansing the world, if you can hold yeah. on a sec. Yeah. It's really round, though. Ooh. Where's that last blue trumpet? There it is. Oh. A little slip there. Oh, never mind. On purpose. Uh, I shouldn't have doubted. Not for a second. Okay. I'll go up here. Is it above me? Oh, yeah, it is. Hello, Theodore. Yeah, it is definitely faster to stick to uh, just the main quest. Hey, you got a new sweater. I got a new helmet. Ah, oh, that's nice. You look uh, you look ready for fall. That looks real cozy. It is cozy. Thank you very much, Lawrence. Man, that's a I'm gonna I'm gonna cozy up and play Skyrim all day kind of jacket. Oh yeah. Wait, where is this? 64 ounce Baja Blast in the cup holder. Oh, that sounds Skyrim nice. With the PS3. <laughs> <laughs> Diarrhea in the toilet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Saturday, baby. <laughs> okay, where? Are we got to go kill something evil now, Lawrence. Oh, we we're doing it. We're, we're gonna going to slay evil. We're going to slay evil. It's uh, right over here. <laughs> it's like a mother bird nursing her babies. It's right over here. Snap a mother snack. <laughs> Do it in front of the kids. I want them to see. Are we gonna? Oh. Oh. Oh no. There it is. There no! we go. Oh wait, we can kill these guys. Oh yeah, absolutely. It's dire mine. Get it? <laughs> How are you? How are, oh, you need a heal. Ow. Yeah, there's a lot of these guys. Ow. Oh, there you go, I'll bud. use my tanking ability. Forgot about that. There's, there's, I think one might be hitting you too. Let me try to. Uh, I'm, I'm alright. I'm totally fine. Okay. Oh. 
totally fine. Oh, somehow bees were getting me in the middle of all that. Not the bees. Yeah, absolutely the bees. Even the warrior of light has to deal with bees. <laughs> Man. Um, eleven leather badge, Rosalind. Okay, cool. Got it. Good to go. You did it. Wrecked it Gr all. Greg, some thank you for gifting to Ognatog. Ognatog, spread that love. Thank you, Greg. Very much as always. Is that is she above? Where is? Oh, there's. Okay. Ooh. I'm trying to remember when the story sort of becomes more than uh, fixing plants. <laughs> I guess maybe these are still the quests that are that are tied to Gridania specifically. They converge at some point. <laughs> Level 50. When you go to the other cities, yeah, that's that's what I'm waiting for. Yo. On purpose. Ah! Oh, look out! A level 12! Alright, alright. Our battle will be legendary. Yes! Way to go. Okay, there's one up here. I have to destroy. Oh! How dare you! Egg that I have to destroy somewhere over here. But I don't see it. Maybe it's in the cave, possibly. Oh no, it's not this way. Uh oh. We ran into their home and now they're attacking us. You know what that means. Kill him! Yeah. <laughs> Murder him! Not today, K Kikirin Scrambler. Whatever your name is. Yeah, that one's a tough one. All right, so supposedly there is something. Oh, it's above me. Fuck. Ah, uh, ah. Can I crawl? Can I climb this tree? No way. Yeah, it looks like you can on the map. Well, only a little bit. Oh, it's it's the other way. It's it's the big like one that had the uh, quest at oh, the top of it. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> Does Final Fantasy have stand your ground laws? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, sort of, yeah. There, we develop a real habit of like going and finding magical monstrosities and beating them up as as soon as we can. We're on our property, first. Whoa! This is what they get for being evil. Let's go. Take that, wildlife. We want our kind of nature, not your kind of nature. That's right. If nature is something we don't like, then we kill it. But if there's other good nature that we like, then we keep it. I feel like, um, I have a theory. And that's that over the next, you know, 300 years or so, all the world's animals are going to get cuter. And it's because, like, if, the, if an article goes around the internet and it's like, oh, this animal's in danger and it's really cute and adorable, people are going to donate money just out of nowhere to make oh, sure that yeah. it stays alive. Yeah. 
But then they're like, hey, this fish is about to die, and it's just this blobby, gross, party <laughs> asshole. You're like, who cares? So I think before long, we're going to lose all the ugly animals that nobody wants. They're just going to go away. I'm going to be honest with you, that sounds like a better nature to me. Yeah, everything's going to be cute and well-behaved. That's right. Uh-oh. Wait, what are we... Like these stupid bog Yarzons getting on my ass. <laughs> Get out of here! Yeah. You guys can go extinct for all I care. I'm not contributing to that GoFundMe. Save the bog Yarzon. Get out of here. <laughs> That's garbage. They look like shit. Yeah, take that shit down. Am I gonna walk back? Are you kidding? Uh, hold on. <laughs> Let's see here. It's always the good old back and forth. Yep. Remember, you well, I don't know if you can teleport where you're headed, but... Oh. Yes, I can. Bent Branch Meadows. One Another thing you can do is, uh, if you're doing a bunch of quests in this area, you can set Bent, Bent Branch as your home point, and then the return ability will take you there for free. Yeah, that, that seems, uh... Oh, somebody was trying to... Wait, what the fuck? What is this? Um... Yeah, the, I I feel like the main quest is like bouncing me around everywhere, so that's why I haven't set my home spot yet. Gotcha. Yeah, it can be tough to figure out. <laughs> <laughs> Just getting choked oh. up. <laughs> I love this part of the story. Uh, I know I remember it explicitly. Wait, who's attacking? Oh, I'm just I'm killing stuff. Just oh, good. Fun. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep doing that. What's up, Yak Job? Got to carve off some chump experience whenever I can. Absolutely. Actually, maybe, maybe leave meats are a really good idea for me. What's up, Battlefield friend, was, White Shadow? Like, Thank you, White Shadow, for the reset. Thanks for coming back after two maybe, months. Maybe they uh, have me Let's see here. Migrant Marauders. That's pretty far south. I will probably need your help with this. Okay, let's do it. Can I mark the map and, like, show you where I'm going? Or no? Ooh, no, but what... You, I mean, it, it will tell you an X and a Y coordinate in the upper right when you mouse around. Oh, gotcha, um, wow. Uh, twenty three twenty five, twenty three point three, twenty five point four. <laughs> I don't know if that helps. <laughs> twenty three point five, twenty five point four. Twenty three. Okay. Yeah, you can kind of see idea. where I'm, you can see where I'm yeah. walking. Yeah, that'll work. Oh, control click on a map. It'll give you a flag. Oh, that you put in chat. Hit. Can control. you see that flag? I'll click. Flag. You see uh, that? I don't think I can. Oh, there it is. I, I, so if you control oh. click, it puts something in chat that you have to hit enter on. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's weird. Mine must be rebound. Mine must be bound to something else. We've done. I, I wonder, I wonder how you, uh, remove Oh, there it, it is. I should have seen it the whole time. So slash P will change you into party chat. Uh, and then yeah. Wait, so you. Ah, it's control right click. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Man. And again, your best friend and your worst enemy. You better and stuff? You bet I am. All right. Well, yeah. So. I just have to go and like pick up eggs, basically. Weird. You're, you're palming a lot of eggs today. <laughs> Is that weird? That feels oh my gosh. weird. That was the easiest thing in the fucking world I just did. <laughs> wow. Wait until uh, they start praising you for everything you do a lot. Like, oh my god, I can't. You're such a hero. Holy crap. Wow. Thank you for these eggs. Oh my gosh. Gwendolyn uh, Valmir attains level 14. Let's see. Alright, that's very far south. 
Follow me. Okay. Uh, how long are the dungeons? Uh, depends. Usually they're designed to be finished in like 30 to 40 minutes. Okay. You can shave that down if you're ultra sweaty. It goes up if you don't. Like if it's your first run or you're just goofing. Yeah. yeah. Oh, scary. It's a hiss. Someone's getting big for their little scorpion britches. <laughs> don't you hiss at me. Yeah. I'm a warrior of light. <laughs> uh prove it. Okay. Oh, we joined a fate. You wanna do it? I don't know what it is, but let's do oh, it. Rewards? Which one? Bleeding Where? green. Help prevent the yeah, help prevent the spread of lead belief. <laughs> what do we Leaf kill? Bleed. Uh slang. Mata guy guy, an overgrown land trap to carry the bane. So we have to you, beat up this giant plant. You got it. Wow, look at us beat up on him. Yeah, we were wrecking this thing. Remember, if you die, I can resurrect you. Oh man, I can do whatever I want. Yep. I can't grab aggro, somebody else is hitting it. Yeah. Lots okay. harder than I can. Woo! Yay! Well done. That's like, man, that is just like the smallest kind of snapshot of what some of the larger dungeon fights are like. I remember, like, if it's anything like a World of Warcraft dungeon, I really enjoyed those, so... Yeah, I think you like it. I So here's the question. If I get to level 15, but you don't, that means you cannot do the dungeon with me, right? Uh, if if it is locked to 15... Uh, many tech, nine, many. Um, sometimes that's not the case. But, okay. oh, is, is that the level you have to be to do the quest for the first dungeon? I don't know, that's what people were I'm, saying that... You could do the dungeon at level 15, so... Okay, then yeah, I should probably... I should probably work on getting there. I'm about to hit level 14. <laughs> Tsukiyoko... <laughs> Tsukiyoko's helping us out and said, uh, we're also smacking those fates pretty hard. That's true. Yeah, we are, we are, are doing that. We are doing that. Wait, do you have to like... You have to do something to activate a leave. Dang, I can't remember. Yeah, you have to hit initiate, that's right. Okay. <gasps> oh, that's right, you can amp up the difficulty on this. Wait, how do you... How do you change the so difficulty? Oh, sorry, no, this is for uh, doing, like, leave meets. Those are just random, randomly generated ones. Oh, okay. Lavender beds. Journey to the lavender beds. Yeah. Oh, do I? Does there need to be a boat here on the dock? Oh, okay, got it. Can't heal. I'm sorry. I'll go do this quest. Curious how this will work. I mean, I can essentially generate quests for myself here, and then it's just like go kill these things, and it spawns it, and you kill them. That's good. Pretty basic. Yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, maybe well, I, I think I just have to get lucky for them to be in the same area. I 
Oh. I have to soothe these enemies. I've gone from killing the plants to patting them on the back until they stop being mad. <laughs> Dead, you giant toad. I hit you. Oh, I'm tell just so you know, I'm teleporting to Bent Branch Meadows, but that's not. That's just just to go talk to people. So right on. I'll be there shortly. I think. I wonder if these uh, redeem themselves. Mad Pie, the music is just killer. I have to turn them in. I do have to turn them in. Hey, I'm coming back. Oh, great. Okay, good. Yeah, so far I think my favorite favorite thing about this game is is the music, for sure. It's just fantastic. Movie quality. Ooh. That was a good chunk of experience. Yeah. Oh man, the, the music the music scales up so much from this too. This is uh, this is it loosely playing by the rules. And it doesn't always do that. So what are you up to now? You got still doing story stuff? Uh yes. Let's see here. This, if I do any of this stuff, uh, story-wise, this is gonna put me over 15, so maybe then we... Mm -hmm. I don't know, I don't know where a good spot to grind is for you. Uh, um, I got, let's see here, I can activate something here. Here, let's try this. I'm curious about this. I'm gonna activate this thing, I'm curious if you can help me with it. I activated it at max difficulty. Okay, Which should also ramp up the, uh... Where are you? It's true from the defeat it. Okay, uh, yeah. we were standing right next to you. Yeah, yeah, there we go. So... Oh, it's level 12. Get out of here. So I have to get a water core, and then use that on another enemy, and then kill that thing. Okay. Right. Okay. Contain sprite cores. Alright, I must find a trickster imp. I'll follow you. All right. Huh. Reveal a turret's true form to the Eh? What the? I don't know. I'm not sure. <laughs> it's like a, it's a, like a zombie. Is that who I was supposed <laughs> to splash with the water? Beat one spread some teeth. I just need more cores. Oh, it says that I have five of them. I have to use it on something, but... Maybe it's not in this zone? Hold on a second. It's no just... Worries. It's like a small quest area, and I'm trying to find... There should be something to use this on. Oh, how did Bruce out-level me? Because I the way main... this game handles story quests are a little weird. Yeah, main um, story. Main story. You can't you can't repeat story quests. Oh, it's not there anymore. Uh, Medici says uh, okay. dun dungeons are locked behind story progression, so I don't know if... Again, I don't know if you're doing your story progression or not, but... Oh, me? I've already done it. Um, oh, there you go. I did it years ago. So uh, that's that's kind of the thing. Is uh, I played I played 2.0 when it came out. Um, and you, you can sort of repeat quests if you put yourself in uh, New Game Plus mode, which is, it's a neat feature. But uh, it doesn't give you duplicate experience, otherwise people would just use it to grind experience. Yeah. Which I guess, you know, it's not the worst thing, but... Oh wait, no wait, wait. I have to use this. Here we go! Ha! Oh. Okay, that's not an imposter. I gotta sprinkle oh, I water on these wisps and see I if see. they turn into... Imps. Nope. What else we got? There's some more up here. 
Yes, we have to find out if the wisps are indeed sus. <laughs> Sprinkle the sus dust on the wisps. Dang it. No on. effect, no effect. <gasps> oh no! Yeah, Austin, that's what, I was reading those stories about the composer of this game. Pretty wild. I just, I just want him to rest. Yeah, right? Please sleep. No! A trickster! Lucky. Oh boy, he's banging you up. Okay. Yay, yay, yay. Uh, return to Pen Branch Meadows? I actually hit no on that because there's another one right here. Perfect. <laughs> What's up, Zimblu and Death Sweet? Just gotta, we just gotta murder. All right, can do. Kill what? Leaf bleed slugs and leaf bleed roselings. You got it. But yeah, I guess, I guess I never actually got all the way to the end of that explanation. Um, since I can't do the story quests again, I don't get the experience rewards for doing them again. Makes sense. So, and those are, they're pretty significant and just like shoveling you along. I have other tools at my disposal to level, including what I can actually do here. This is an option. Because I can switch to another class that is higher level, and then we can queue together, and it'll like level me down so we are at the yeah. same power level. Well, I guess then it won't be our tank healer thing, but yeah, we can do that too. I'll still be a tank. Um, I'll just oh, be a different class of tank. Oh, you have you have a tank? Okay, cool. Yeah, I, well, I it's unlocked, but I have no idea what I did with the gear for it. So I'm, I might either just have to buy a new, a new like Dark Knight weapon. I don't know. I'll figure it out. That would be faster than uh, waiting for me to level by doing these, though. Oh, okay. Well, I'm, I'm gonna so, I'm gonna be able to knock this out really really fast here. So I'll just go I'll just go continue it. Hey, sure. Yeah, if, if you get to the, like, the... If it's asking you to, like, queue for the dungeon, then I can, uh... I can just swap over to my other character. Yeah, I wondered... I didn't know... if slash how severe the, um... How severe the leveling gap would be. Duty failed. Well, I can turn in the other one. Hopefully, I think you'll get credit for this. <laughs> this is all new territory for me. No, yeah. Bizarrely. I was laughing at I was laughing at chat making a terrible pun just like the developers of Final Fantasy 14. He said if you're if you're if your duty fails you may need more fiber in your diet. I was like, oh nice. man. Beautiful. Oh. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> I got an oath gauge. That sounds really okay. cool. Increases enmity. Okay. Okay, so I have a stance that basically makes me draw aggro. Hey, okay. Raves. Okay, Thank you, Raves, for the resub very yeah, much. Stun. All 
All right, I guess I will try to... I'll rummage around in my storage and see if I can dig out... Dig out my old Dark Knight here. I mean, I may not even... I'm not even sure if I'll get a dungeon, but we'll see. I'm about to hit level 15, so... Oh, okay. I didn't save a thing for it. Like, I actually don't know uh, where it is along the story progression, so... Scary. Oh, I'm in it. Actually, I'm fuck. I'm in a good spot <laughs> that you I could definitely use your help with. Yeah. All right. Let me see if I can if I can catch up to you. I am down by Galvant's spire. It looks like we uh I had to leave your group maybe. Oh yeah. When did that happen? I don't know. What's the social tab? Maybe it was the leave quest. I don't know. Uh. Here, let me reinvite you. <laughs> maybe when I. Maybe when I died. That's weird, though. That doesn't make sense. Oh, did you die? Oh, no. All right. All right. There you are. All right. On the way. Okay, cool. Treffin! Good to see you, Treff. Thank you for the uh, prime trap. Oh, you'll know you're about to unlock the dungeon when you visit the other cities in the main quest. Oh, okay. Well, All right. We got time, then. Uh, Junior Black Dynamite, thank you for getting to NZ. Right, Thank you, Junior Black Dynamite, always. This is like a, uh, an area with a bunch of skelly boys. Ooh, it's spooky. Are you scared, Bruce? I am th maybe the most scared I've ever been. Oh. Oh, that's not good. Here, you need, you need the power of friendship. Ah! That's there my he is. Friend. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's just kill all these fucking dudes. Yeah, let's do it. Boom. Uh, I'm starting to feel like a tank. Oh, interesting. This is a, uh... Huh. Oh boy, you're getting banged up. Oh yeah, I'm doing it. Tanking! I gotcha. Nice. Okay, so... It says... Oh wait, is it above? Oh fuck. Wait, what? No. Oh, we what? didn't just kill all those skellies for nothing. Well, I think there's some... there's something in here that... Oh, it's right here maybe? No. What's this? It's a dungeon. That probably. is a dungeon. Yeah, that's probably a dungeon. Um, that's the Tamterra Deep Croft. Apparently it's I bet above. Bet you can't wait to go there, huh? Sounds cool. It does sound really cool. How in the world am I supposed to get there? Oh, apparently, yeah, it's above. That's alright. We got all scared for nothing. I'm so scared. Dang it. <laughs> it's really peaceful up here, though. Except for all the... Oh, here, it's gonna kick me from the thing again. Oh, okay, that's fine. <laughs> Sorry. No worries. I'll go do another one of these old things and get a level or two. If this isn't voiced, I'm skipping it. It's not voiced. Yeah, if they're willing to pay for somebody to read it to you, that means they know it's important. Otherwise, it's not. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, I'm getting banged up over here. I'm gonna make you work for it now. Most quests early aren't voiced. Exactly. Exactly. What is it? Oh, boo-hoo, my potatoes aren't good. Whatever. I don't get out of bed for anything less than a 1,000-year-old magical dragon. 
This is a long one. Yeah? Got a whole lot of whole lot of plot happen? Well, not about plot so much as I'm just banging away on this dude. Oh, that kind of okay. You know why you're doing it though. That's important. <laughs> I'm really glad that I'm not low on magic all the time. That's really helpful. Yeah, like, I don't know how, how they rebalanced that. That kind of was a thing. Maybe they wisely... I think they wisely came to the conclusion that people don't like running out of magic all the time. <laughs> you so also get... Eventually you'll get a skill that, like, you pop it, and it'll give you a lot of magic back really fast. And it's oh. on, like... It's on a cooldown that doesn't give you infinite magic, but it's enough for if you need to dump a lot of spells, it doesn't just, like... It's not a flat tire. There we go. Yeah. And when it yeah, when it comes to the content and stuff like that, Sverga is correct. Uh most of early Realm Reborn was developed in about two years. Only half a team working on it, so they were stretching resources a bit. Gotcha. They've actually gone back through since then and trimmed it up a bit. They like uh took some quests out and stuff like that to streamline it. I think they adjusted quest rewards too to kinda of make it flow by a little faster. No, I was like, it was exactly the right time for a somewhat grindy MMO to hit for me, though. That's the best, when it just happens I'm, in your life, you know? Yeah, the stars align. And you can just... You can just cocoon up and be a trash human. <laughs> Someone's telling me if I zoom my camera all the way, I, I get extra XP. Hold on, I, I got something to go check on. Stay away from my friend, Hedge Knight. Stay away from Kuplo Capo. Oh, everything's fine. Okay, good. Something bonked. I was just checking on it. Uh oh, I might not be fine though. Nah, I'm fine. <laughs> There's some, uh, there's some very spooky boys trying to slap, slap on me a little bit, but they won't be able to. Come on, Goose, do something! Oh, do, do minions ever interact with combat? No, I don't think so. I was a joke. <laughs> Man, I hope so. I mean, the odds are not zero in a game like this. Oh yeah, the hunting log. I remember doing a lot of the hunting log back in the day. Also, doesn't it, um, it puts a little mark over enemies that'll fill out your hunting log, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, it does. It does. Yeah, I thought so. Let's see. Oh wait, they're per job. There's that, but yeah. I guess maybe I should try and look these guys up. Eh, those are pretty decent rewards. Yeah, it's 404. Big for you, Jim. I do need those. <laughs> uh, 404, yeah, that's that's pretty standard, I think, for most MMOs. You can customize, like, the the hot bar with, like, controls and alts and stuff. That seemed... That was, that was the case with the... Uh, Old Republic and a lot of other stuff.
If I'm going to be a professional healer for the greatest huh? guild in the world, I need to get better at this and fast. Well, you're, I would say you're already, you have the capacity to be the world's greatest. <laughs> so I don't, I don't see why we should have to wait for that to happen. Wow. Uh, I think we just, we just say it's wow. that's the way it is right now. All right. Leather tar. Ah, uh, okay, yeah. There we go. I we'll must go to Western Thunderland. All right, I am now level fifteen. Do you want to uh, shoot me an invite? Oh, sure. Be fine. Let's see where that takes me. Boom. I have to teleport to New Gradania. That's great. I need to go there too. Um oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna take your teleport. I've been oh, stomping you, over that a couple times. Can you do that? Yeah, if I think you've been doing it for me most of the time, but in a party, like the first if somebody teleports, it offers the teleport to everybody else. Oh that's red. So oh wait, hold on. Only does one it, person has to pay the, the Uber. I was gonna say, yeah, does anybody only one person has to pay? I think so. Or that maybe not. Cool. But I think so. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, I've only had two G's of gill for a... I mean, again, I'm only three hours into the video game, so... Okay. She's assigned me a mission of great import. <sighs> Sorry, I was talking with stuff. No, no, don't worry about it. Uh, yeah, I need to, yeah, I need to go to my hotel room. My apartment. Gotta rummage through my closet. Healer training exercises. What are those? Do you know what those are? Sorry, what? Uh, healer training exercises? Healer training exercises? Yeah, I don't Maybe know. Maybe like a... I don't know. Sometimes there are like DPS and training tools you can use where you like cast your rotation and it tells you what your healing is and stuff like that. Hmm. Maybe something like that. I don't know. Guy V, thank you, Guy, think, for the resub. I'm sorry I missed that guy. That have the and well, so. Rambo McMuffin. I think I have him somewhere. Thank you, Rambo, for the resub as well. Okay, people are saying that they they teach you how to uh, um do dungeons apparently. Huh. Did you ever do those? Okay. I don't know if those were around uh, when I when I played. Maybe they were, and I just don't remember. I don't know. You know how to do dungeons. I do. Yeah. <laughs> that is the thing I know how. Wait. Doesn't mean I'll be good at them. I just know what I'm doing. I, think I actually did just get rid of them. There's like specialty earrings. That give you an experience buff. Yeah. I have proceeded to the seat of the first bow. There's one in my glamour dresser, but that does that wouldn't carry the attribute, would it? Jeez, I just smashed everything. Oh my gosh, they're gonna defile the guardian tree, Lawrence. They can't do that! We gotta we gotta Bruce, we gotta protect Guardian Tree. Must protect guardian tree. Can you imagine not protecting a guardian tree? No, I can't. 
kind of kind of pisses me off just thinking about it. <laughs> kind of really mad. <laughs> right click in the dresser to restore the item to the inventory. Oh, thank you, War Corgi, for the uh, raid. Very much. All right. All right then. Is that how that works? I have never messed with glamours like at all. Wait, that doesn't do anything. <laughs> uh, can you teleport us to Bent Branch? Man how much guild do you have? <laughs> I have enough to teleport. Well, I, mean, I have enough certain. too. But uh, no, if you're I mean, if you're low on it as well, then fuck it. I don't know. Oh, there it is. Okay. Sorry, I'm putting on special earrings. Oh, that's so okay. Maybe this will help me keep up with the uh, with the level one. Okay. All right, I'll teleport teleport to Bent Branch. Here, I got it. I got it. Oh, you got it. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Let's try this out. Did a little window pop up asking if you want to teleport? Oh wait. Not, not yet. Still not yet? Not yet. Oh, well, huh. That's there weird. are there are question marks around your character, so maybe you're too far out or something? Oh, you have to be in the same area. That's right. Uh, Thank you. Oh, there we go. Nope, I was in my I was in my bedroom. My you got bed. a nice little bedroom? Mm-hmm. I mean you do too, I think. Oh. I always tell chat that I don't give a fuck about houses because I don't. Like, when people are like, I should buy a house in Skyrim, I'm like, I don't care. Because I really don't. That's good. That's the uh, that's the hardest thing to do in this game. I just don't, yeah, I don't care about having a house or anything. Although, Thank can you. you be the best healer in Final Fantasy XIV in the entire world if you don't also own a house? Well, look, if I need to own a house to be the best healer, I'll own a house, okay? Put it that way. Fair. Wait, where'd you go? Oh, there you are. Okay. Do you see me? Yeah, I see your I see your little player dot. Okay. Good. About to go into a fate. I think yeah, I think something over here. This looks like maybe it's gonna be legit. I don't know. I'll wait for you. What's there? We're, we're around the corner. Oh, I think the fate just wore off. Oh, that man is, has flaming boots. Oh, it's the same shit. Never mind, Lawrence. Don't come this way. Uh, you have to leave the group again. <laughs> uh, you're muted, by the way. Oh my gosh, I've been muted that whole time. There we are. Yeah, sorry, sorry about that. No worries. I'll plow through this real fast here. I'm killing the Ixals, or the Ixali. Oh! Da, 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 da. For you. Oh, this is an actual, like, got ourselves a real war over here. Oops. Heal! Oh, it didn't hit. It didn't. Really? Oh, that sucks. Get those attacked wars. I'm gonna go help. Yeah, what's going on over there? We're, the... we're, we're doing a big Ixali war! Ooh, that sounds important. It is important. We're fighting off the Guardian Tree. What <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? I didn't think you'd be Guardian Tree today, did you? I can't believe it. I can't believe it's happening. I'm gonna be honest. I'm glad you. I'm glad you got there. I know it was important for you. 
I have been talking to Lawrence for weeks about how I wanted to finally get to the Guardian Tree fight. Solid fight. I've heard a lot about it. I've heard a lot about it. I always wondered what it was like. And I said, if there's one. To speak, speak a little cactus. There's one. Oh, oh, there's one person that needs to be fighting in the Guardian Tree War. It's Regina Pringles. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> He's Regina. Have you thought? Have you? Are you getting used to the character at all? Uh, you mean how hot she is? Yeah. Uh, oh, is that working for you? <laughs> right on. Sweet oh, what the fuck are you? What are you? I got a fucking evil dragon over me. Ah! We win. We won, Lawrence. I knew it. Absolutely you know, knew it. The one never, thing that's never doubted the, you for a second. This game has a real problem with is the music's like super triumphant and awesome, and then when you win, it just cuts out. <laughs> Fades back to nothingness. Yeah. It doesn't even fade. It just cuts. Oh really? Yeah. Actually, it's too pitched. Oh. Oh. Right, well, I picked up another level. Uh, are you back out into the? The game world proper? No, I'm not. What is this? What's happening? Yeah, I forgot. I have my like. That's why. I Thank you, oh my Godzilla, for the resub. Very, very much. Because I didn't do the level five. Oops. Man, this uh, you really don't have very many damage spells as a healer. <laughs> yeah, it's most mostly like two or three. I can think of. You get some options like way later on, level seventy, but that's a that's a minute and a half away. Yeah, healing is is just so much more interesting when it's not solo. Cause yeah, you're either Absolutely, healing yourself yeah. or just thrilling the same spell into. Junior an Black Dynamite, thank you for die. gifting to Grunkle. Grunkle, spread that love. Thanks, Junior Black Dynamite, always. Just dodged my spell? How is that even possible? I'm doing it. You saving the world again? Or are you like delivering a bucket of potatoes? Oh, some friends came somehow. Oh, the pugilist! Oh my god. Oh, jeez. Oh, I can't believe the pugilist showed up! The pugilist? Yeah, the. You know, like the, basically the tall one and the short one. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, what is it? Uh, Papa Limo and oh gosh, Nanamo? Yeah, oh, something like that. One of our teams. Ida. Oh, that's right. Okay. They're a fun little crew, huh? Boom. We're the greatest. Oh, let's see what we got here. Hmm. <laughs> Someone got a new pair of, uh, a new set of armor. Oh! I'm gonna be looking pretty sharp next time you see me. Okay. Uh, speaking of which, we should meet up because I have to. Uh, this is where I take my leave. Oh yeah. Um, but I would. Uh, 
I'd like to continue. Because I'd really like sure. to try a dungeon next time. We should be able to get to the first one, yeah. And then it's like, then they start peppering into the story at a more even pace. I'm actually going to teleport to New Gradania. On my way. And I'll see you there. Oh, Barishnikov, use the squad stream. Use the squad stream, Barishnikov. The same person on the same harp? <laughs> Just ripping it? I mean, it's pleasant. That's like the perfect place to play for people that warp in, too. <laughs> yeah, I know. Man. Uh-oh. What's wrong? Bruce, I think some, uh, some... Some slender ladies have dressed for your arrival. What? Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a second. Hold on. Are you still t are you still on your way? I am, uh, yeah. I, I teleported in going to turn this quest in really quick, and then I'll... Run back to the... Alright. Turn in quest in. Now... I'm addicted to that experience. Like seeing that bar jump up? I love it. Oh, no, no, no. There's nothing better. The only thing better is a cup of Baja Blast. <laughs> and, and uh... 60 day time card for Final Fantasy XIV. <laughs> Nachos Bel Grande. Oh. Yeah. A new cushion or a new a new pillow to sit on your gamer chair. Ever since the pandemic, they got rid of like a lot of their menu items at Taco Bell, and I'm, now I'm like super pissed. Yeah, it feels it feels a little bizarre um, to like occasionally when my willpower breaks down, which is more often than occasionally. <laughs> uh, I go to like order delivery, and it just doesn't it doesn't seem the same. It's not I, it's not a festival of delights like it used to be. <laughs> Uh, um, oh, there she I'm, is. Yeah, yeah. Where, where are you at? Well, I think I hit the mic. Sorry. We're over here. I'll give you a hot little wave. My my nameplate should be like yellow. Oh, it's orange. Yeah, there we go. Oh, you look great. New armor. New Thank shield. You. Yeah. I got a new shield cool too. Adventurer. I got a new shield too. Oh, you did. Looks like something you'd serve like a meat and cheese uh, tray on. It does. <laughs> You're not wrong. It also. There's a woman in a crop top over here. Whoa! <laughs> Super ripped, dude. Uh, this woman's barely wearing any clothes behind you here, Cloud Aroth. I don't know if you've noticed her behind you. I know that music. Uh, anyway. Oh, yeah. I've definitely noticed. I think she's <laughs> sitting on my head right now. <laughs> That's just the kind of magnetism I have. Wow. Kind of big deal. Yeah. You just can't stop eating pussy. Oh, it's Final Fantasy VII music. All right. It's like <laughs> boss fight music. Oh my gosh, there's a tiny little Aerith down there, too. Aerith, excuse me. Uh, all right, oh, Lawrence. This is weird. <laughs> thanks for... Uh, that frog man go? Thanks for walking me through this. Oh, I'm, I'm just really glad you wanted to play. I hope you had a good time. Oh, no, I, I know totally it can be, yeah. It can be really confusing and weird, especially with the way they handle story stuff, but... Most MMOs are. The first part is are. the slowest part. Yeah. Um, There's too many people around. Wow. All I hear is harp. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right. I, uh, yeah, I, hopefully the next time we do a dungeon, because I'd like to try and play more of this. Yeah. I think the action will pick up a little bit next time. Okay. All right. <laughs> all right, man. Well, thanks, Th man. Thanks again. Yeah, I'll see you later. All right. See you.